The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex. And more sex. For all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now, the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way. The Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. Friday nights on the podcast, 15th of March, what usually is a really horrible day outside in terms of traffic because it's payday, it's fucking Friday, the big three-day sale's going on like crazy, but we appreciate that our guest is here because he is a fucking funny-ass guy. Uh, welcome to the podcast, by the way. This is Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two, brought to you by Globe. My name is Mo, phone number 4787954. You can catch us on Skype, the Good Times podcast. And as I was saying, our guest tonight, this is his second time, I believe, on, on the show. Uh, first time was great. And every time we just you talk to him, he's, he's freaking funny because he's a great conversationalist. He's got a lot of experience in life um he's openly bisexual he, he'll tell you how it is and if you have a love problem really of all well not say of all of our guests but one of our few i think celebrities we like having on the show that gives you just advice like perfectly and and, and it's hmm. it's it's funny and it makes sense and he's just He's just all around awesome. Please welcome my good friend, Arnel Ignacio. Thank Arnel, you. Thank you. Nice to have you back. You are, <laughs> you are I don't super you're, funny you are up amazing. here. amazing. Uh, uh, really? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, how, how are you able to set this all up? Uh, the first time I went to your studio, na amazed na ako. You turn your house into mm -hmm. a studio. Now, you're broadcasting from L.A. I thought you were just I thought you were just impressing the Filipinos. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, it, it, you know, it's not that hard. It, you know, if you just do a little bit of research and you you get the right team together, it really is, and it's very, very easy. And you know, I, I broadcast from well, I broadcasted from New York last year, the whole mm -hmm. year, and into uh, into the Magic eighty nine point nine in Manila, and then. And you know, uh, and I think I just said this the other day, so forgive me for the people who've heard it, but I've broadcasted from France, from London, wow. the Olympics, from Santorini in Greece, from, I mean, we've probably done the show in 20 different cities uh, over the past year. Um, it's, it's really a thing. It's, it's Amazing. fun and it's easy. Uh, it's just. No, probably you're saying it's easy because you're, uh, you're, you're talking with, pe with more people who, who do things like this. I, I usually talk with my employees. So, uh, well, I'm the only the, one who the does more it. Serious, the most serious problem that they can give me is uh, they don't have fare to go to work. Something like that. <laughs> And you're about desperate last time, now. <laughs> last time we saw you, you had this police issue. But I want to talk about it in a little while because we got a lot of calls ready to go. Again, four seven eight seven nine five four, and then Skype us the Good Times podcast. I, I want an update about what's going on in your life because you had one of the most odd, funny, I guess really? tragic and scary things. I mean, it was it was scary when you first told me about it, but now I mean, time has passed, and you being a comedian, you might have found a funny and lighter side to it. But again, we'll talk about it in a little while. And I know you got a huge project coming up in a, I guess what in a month. That's yeah. 
we definitely have to talk about. So it's going to be a lot of show today, plus people's love problems, life problems, sex questions. It's, it's, it's going to be a packed night on this Friday with Arnell Ignacio. Yeah. So let's take the first call. We have Patrick here who's 20, uh, Arnell. He's, uh, He's calling from, from Cainta. Uh, Cainta. Um, where is he? Cainta, yeah. Patrick, what's up? You're on the, you're on the show. You're on line two. We have uh, the great, hey, Mo, funny up? Arnell Ignacio yeah. here. Well, I'm, I'm good, man. How are you? This is Arnell. What's I'm up? good. Uh, well, not, not that good. But, not that yeah. good. All right. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I need the love advice, Mo. No. Sure. All right. Um, I feel like I'm in an abusive relationship. What's the most rational step I can take to keep the relationship You feel going? like it's either you feel like it or you are. I mean, well, by the way, is this a, who's being a girl? Like, your uh, girlfriend's I'm abusing a, you? Yeah, I'm straight. I'm straight. Okay, uh, and your girlfriend is kicking your ass? Well, uh, uh, she's throwing things at me, no. and unfortunately... These things aren't pillows. Uh, it's her phone, and I happen to be the target, yeah. so kind of hurts. Yeah. <laughs> and then, are you being verbally abused? Or, are you being verbally abused as well? I mean, you know, it's not just the physical stuff. Yeah. Um, well, she blames me for things, for everything she doesn't like. Uh, she has a temper to deal with. Like, she has a habit of not wanting to know the time when it's oh. when she's up late. So. When she finds out that it's 4 a.m. and she's still up, she would uh, so hit, she'd throw a fit and I'd have to calm her down and it would take all morning to do that. Mo, so, that's, that's a little bit strange. Crazy. That's a little bit strange why, why he why stays with a relationship like that. Hey, listen, yeah. my last girlfriend was fucking crazy. I mean, oh. ask the people in the podcast because, you know, like I said, you I was doing the podcast goodbye. from my house. It's hard because really? sometimes you feel responsible for them. Yeah, You know how I separated from my off. wife? You know how I did it? I just said, How did you do it? Um, That's it. <laughs> I mean, it, it really didn't take so much. <laughs> it takes so much. But, but, but was your wife crazy? I mean, was she like I'm this, crazy. the volatile? But I, I, have, I gave her all the impression that I'm the crazy one. But I made I made a lot of mistakes. But 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 we're not in the kind of relationship that uh, Patrick is describing. He can always get out of that relationship. Or it's he, hard he though, Arnold, because sometimes slap her. Uh, well, sometimes what? you feel <laughs> some <laughs> some hit her back. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, but sometimes it, it's difficult because it? you feel responsible for their well being. You you uh, love them. You've learned to love them, and then when, but in the, you know while you know they're fucking nuts. They're, you know, I mean, I've had, again, I've, I was in a recent relationship where we, when a conversation of, say, breaking up, a knife would be pulled out and then, you know, uh, she'd cut her, try to cut her arm and mm. then look, point the knife at you. I mean, it becomes really, you're like, oh my God, you know, and then again, you're responsible for, you feel responsible, you feel like no one's going to love them. And, uh. and then, you know, while that's not true at that moment, you feel like it. Now, now, Patrick, wait a hold. Pat, first of all, great in bed though. Yes, Patrick? I mean, fucking Usually the crazy star. ones are great in bed. Yeah. Right? I don't know uh, what was that? She she fucks your brains out though, right? I mean, like uh, aside from all of these, crazy in in the bedroom, yes? Oh oh, definitely. I mean, uh, we, uh, we, yeah. we we watched Skyfall and we ended up not watching Skyfall because what? we did it. There. Skyfall? Skyfall's a great fucking movie. Skyfall's a great fucking movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. It is. All right, so Patrick, how about this? Uh, let's take a page from Arnell's advice. Um, I'll, I'll speak. Is that her in the background, by the way? I feel like that that, that would be her in the background. Yes? <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, we never that's not her. her. Yeah. Oh, that's well, a German shepherd, I'm assuming. She, if she's you, <laughs> maybe. No. That's right. <laughs> um, <laughs> how about this? Okay, you can break up with her, right? But while I'm sure you've told yourself that you, I, I can't be in this relationship, you, you really, I really have to sell to you why you're not, you're not supposed to be in the relationship. You're 20 years old, meaning... Mm-hmm. You're supposed to be banging girls, right? Like, this is the start, man. You're supposed to be fucking knocking them down. Not, not getting hit by a cell phone just because you told your girlfriend what time it is and she, she has insomnia. And then all of a sudden she's taking you out. You know what I mean? There, there has to be a realization for you that says, wait a minute, I should not be in something like this. Yes. You at this be. part, in this, at this point in my life. It's choosing time. Like, look, look at Arna. Ar- 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 what are you? 40, 41. 49. And, and you wouldn't take this shit at 49, I right? I, I will never take that shit unless I enjoy, I'm enjoying it. But if I start to complain and imagine myself living with somebody like this all my life, it's quits. I just say, hey, bye. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Bye. I'm not <laughs> enjoying this. No, no, um, no. What if she does the thing? Okay, I, I have a feeling, Patrick, you've tried breaking up with her. And then what? She's threatened to kill herself. Um, I mean, what, what, what are some of the things that have happened when you tried breaking up with her? Well, she's, uh, she's self destructive, you know. So That's every right. time I Let do that. You destroy yourself. It's kind of. She's you blaming can't, me for you know? everything. So it's. Kind of my fault. Yeah, listen, my, listen I had a girlfriend again recently. <laughs> same exact thing. The, you, 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 t- you talk about uh, after a while, you get tired of each other. After a while, it gets, it gets taxing. You, you stay and you stay. How long have you guys been together? Uh, one year. Wow. One year. Okay. You, 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 you'll both be tired in about six more months to another year. You're going to be like, I, I can't do this shit anymore. I'm out of here. And then she's going to be like, okay, I'm out of here too. You're just going to be tired. But in the meantime, it's. A lot of broken furniture. Mm. It's going to be a lot of fucking broken cell phones. I mean, you know, shit. It, 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 it's going to get expensive. And, and yeah, you might get hit every now and then. You know, you're not going to get beat up, but just make sure not to hit her back. Baka Unless you're she, Baka naman, Patrick, you're enjoying it. You know, sometimes it turns you on. Oh, nah. <laughs> nah, no, kasi, I, mean, I, don't, no, I don't think so. No, 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 because I, I, I did. Uh, we, we, uh, we, 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 Oh. Yung electric pan lang, ano? No, <laughs> 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 but, but oh, seriously, seriously, Patrick, you, you know what? Um, have you ever, uh, did you ever gave her, uh, I, I think you're always giving her the chance to do this to you. Have you ever told her that you cannot do this? I'm, uh, you know, na, hindi I'm done. pwede. Hindi pwede yeah. ganyan. Okay. Masaya ba to? Masaya ba tong ganito tayong away ng away? No, mas masarap. Yung bati tayo. That's what I usually tell my lovers. Uh, if, if, you know, gaaway kami. Ano ba masarap? Magagalit tayo o gaaway? Mas magkabate. Bilisan na natin, magbati na tayo kasi doon din naman pupunta. Di ba? Have you, uh, yeah, when, when you tell her about it, um, what do you, what does she say? You know, every time we argue, it's, it's a one-sided conversation. She doesn't talk. And I do all the talking. I mean, I try to be considerate and, you know, but... She just won't talk, and she just she's getting angry. She's got issues, you know. Patrick, again, listen. You know, if I was twenty again, I wouldn't take this for one day. You just go and you leave, right? Regardless of the self-destructive thing. I mean, you're you're young, and you again, you got to be out there lining those girls up. I mean, I don't want to encourage promiscuous behavior. I don't want to be. Hey boy, what I'm just saying is you're too young for this. You should be having fun. Mm-hmm. I, I, I went through what you were going through at, at 33 years old or 32 years old. And it was, I mean, I thought, okay, you know, listen, I'm going to stick around. I mean, you know, I'm going to try. I'm going to help this person strain their life. But they need professional help. To be honest, uh, she needs to talk to a psychologist, uh, really work out some of these issues. I'm sure there's some sort of family problem growing up there that makes her like this. I mean, it really is. It can get very ugly, very taxing. And at 20 years old, I mean, it's just too, it's too big. You know, it's too, uh, I guess, adult of a problem, even though you are an adult, for you to have right now. Mm. Trust me, you yeah. find another girl, she's going to be completely different. The sex is just going to be just as great. And then, you know, you don't have to get injured. <laughs> All right? Right, right, right. <laughs> You know, yung kanto lang ng, ano, ng tropical hat dyan. Madaling ano. You know what I mean? Jeans? Yeah, I yeah. know what you mean. See? Why oh, go around? Why? What's going on there? What's going on kanta over there? Everybody's for sale there. Three, four, one hundred. Oo, oh, misa Royal True Orange nga lang eh. Oh, Royal. I don't know why they specified that brand, but they want it. Oh. They like Royal. Oo, oh, oh, right. kung bakit. Oh, kung bakit. Thanks, Patrick. Enjoy that Burger Machine Corner, man. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Or tropical hut or whatever it was. Bye bye, um, Arnell. How many how many people have you slept with? And we were talking about this on the radio the other day. Oh my how many God. people have you had sex with? I don't know. I don't know. Lost count. Lost count. The serious. Okay, ones? when you say lost count, you've lost count a- after it hit one hundred. You've lost count after something hit- like this. That I get to meet them and I don't recognize them. They just remind me that we went to. Oh, we did. <laughs> uh, did you? Uh, what? What did we do? Nagsuntokan tapos nag nagsex. Sometimes that's a bit remind me. Tika. 
Ano, promeno akong bigla, may sabihin sana ako eh. Ano, um, did we do anal sex? No. No. We did! No. Ano we did? Ah, di ba? Ano mo say? Probably it's not you. So, <laughs> so hindi pala. <laughs> Is it in the hundreds? Huh? No, Is it in the hundreds? Naman. I'm 49. I'm 49. Nakakahiya naman if it's less than a hundred naman. I, I started quite early in life. <laughs> yeah, okay, what's, remember okay, what's the first... Okay, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, okay, but give me ballpark. 200. I really want to know. But uh, count it, uh, base it on the first time I experienced sex. I was five years old. I, uh, all at the same time this was happening. My, my uh, uncle was molesting me. I enjoyed it. Um, my classmate, Sir Notre Dame, was kissing me. Si Noel. Hello, Noel. I still remember you. So, I know your surname. Because I come in sure. early. And... Uh, you know, kami nando, so he kisses me. I, 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 I enjoyed it. See Arnold from our street, uh, the first homosexual I met in my life. Um, lagi kami naglalaro by bahayan siya yung my missus and I'm supposed to be the husband. So we need to kiss. So I, I got two kissing buddies when I was five. And then yung kataguan ko naman rally is also from the same street. Uh, sa taguan, lagi niya ako hinipuan. Masarap naman. So... Uh, I okay, mean, from that you day know, on. Though. Okay, you know, forty. <laughs> that's five you years know at forty nine. <laughs> I know, but you know, forty nine. That's molestation. That, that's rape. That's all of these things. I mean, oh. did you? Uh, okay, well, first of all, is your uncle dead? I mean, I, I don't did know. You, did you kill him? But I'm sure he's, he he isn't as attractive as he was when I, when I was five. Oh, guapo siya nun eh. Oh, and he kept on asking me, Arnel, you go magubad ka on lahat ng mga lalaki na gubat. I go no, and then he starts. Uh, um, rubbing his dick. Like, what are you doing? But you know, I, I have a very positive outlook in life. I, I, I know that's extreme. That's extreme. I, I'm bothered by that because this is yeah. really bad shit, man. Really? I mean, I would kill this guy. Oh, of course, it's super bad. But have you have you ever like worked it out mentally in terms of like seeing a psychologist about? Okay, you know, you get what I mean because it's trauma. <laughs> no, I or no, you just kind of no, went no. away. No, no, you no. went with it. Yeah, I went with it. I enjoyed it. In fact. Mm. Wow! Wild. Okay, that right, must make me very different. I, 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 I no it trauma makes you whatsoever. Different. Mm. Really? Okay, okay, okay. Back to the thing. Okay, of the say two hundred people you've slept with, how oh. many? How many females? How many males? Ah, female. What would be the percentage? Usually, when I have relationship 70, with uh, the female species, it's serious. Kaya I'm scared. Serioso ah. ko pag babae. Mm. Lalim. Okay. Mm. So uh, I don't want to venture into that anymore. Too old for that. Alex, oh, really? You've given up females? Mm-hmm. Ang dami nun, may mga kamag-anak yan, may mga kapatid. Lahat yan may opinion. <laughs> Ayoko na lang. Hindi ba? I don't Sutukan want that. Na lang. You know? oh. okay. Alex, you're line one, 17 years old, out of uh, Marikina. Hi, Alex. Welcome to the oh. show. I hope you're still there because you're, you're on a cell phone. You've been on hold for a long time. Uh, line one, Alex, what's up? Hello. Alex? <laughs> 17-year-old Alex? We lost Hola, him. Si Alex. Let's go to B Boy, twenty six years old, in uh, online too. Hi, B Boy, how are you? You have uh, Arnel Ignacio on the program, who's going to probably give a great opinion about this question. What's up, B Boy? Yeah, hi, Mo. Hi, uh, Arnel. Hi. Yes, hi, B Boy. Parang latang latang. Yeah. I... Hello. <laughs> what have you been doing, B Boy? Yeah, 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 go, B Boy. <laughs> Sorry. You... Go ahead. Yeah, I just have a little question. Um, is it hard to be to be a gay and father at the same time? No. Are you both gay and a father? Yeah. I remember Mo, I was the one who asked a question about having a child when Asunto was on the show. I completely forgot. But let, okay, let's just kind of paint the picture for Arnell here so he understands. Are you married? You have a wife? You have a kid? And, and you have a gay partner at the same time? Um, currently, I'm single. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You have a son? And I, w- I want to have a child. Uh, oh, you want yeah. to have a child. Ar- Arnel, do you have kids? Yeah. I have a college uh, daughter. Uh, a daughter in college already. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, hold on. Let me, hold on one second, uh, B-Boy. I'm going to put you on hold real quick. Arnel. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, not to dwell on the past, and to me it's traumatic. <laughs> to you, you enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I, I just want I, I want to make sure you understand that it's like... I'd like to kill somebody who does this to children. <laughs> if your daughter went through the same thing as a child as mm. you did, would you kill the person who who did that, who does that to her? First, I ha- uh, first I have to tell my daughter that th- these things happen. These things happen. Para hindi masadong traumatic because these things happen. And then pakwento mo. And then you t- and tapos uh, 
patayin mo yung kung sino yung ano. <laughs> Kasuhin mo. <laughs> Basta, wait, hold on. I have a question. Have you killed anybody? Uh, ma- 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 mayroon ako mga plans in mind, but then that, masama yun. <laughs> You've never killed anybody. Okay, I just want to make sure. I, I feel like in all the, in all the stories, that, the only experience that you've had, that you might have murdered someone in, that, in your lifetime yet. At no? least in my yeah. imagination. Okay, bloody. Just check in. Bloody. <laughs> in right, my imagination. In fact, I still have the I still have the images of those people I want to kill. We'll ask, we'll ask their names a little later. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, Arnel, I, I want to ask you: Is it hard? Dif- is it difficult? Or is it even? Or is it just as normal? Is it just as easy? You know or, why? It, why it, being it, a parent is never easy, but you know why it looks being so a parent easy on me. I just you know when things are needed to be done, I just do it. I don't think I just I, I if I if you know things are are needed to be done, you just have to do it. And your results. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you don't stop to 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 think that this is difficult, and then you get get your body bodies to tell them I'm having difficulty in whatever I'm going through. You just have to do it because you have no choice. Like if you you have a daughter, then everything that is required uh, from a father is something that you have to do. You don't stop. How is your okay? How is your daughter? Like if you if she's you were perfect. not her father and you ass, you assess her, is she right? She's perfect. I mean, it doesn't matter. Broken home, homosexual parent. She's just as normal and fine as, yeah. as any child. Maybe even better than some of their her I classmates e- and her peers. I think she's even better. Uh, she's uh, uh, she's more connected with people. She understands more things because uh, we usually talk. She, she she does. She she's doing so well in school. And she's leader there, very good grades. Well, I, I don't know how she will turn out when she read, when she's an adult. But so far, she's not giving him problems the way other children are giving problems to their parents. So, so B boy, maybe the answer then to that is it really doesn't matter if you're gay. I mean, heterosexual, homosexual, mm-hmm. whatever. Me and again, I, I've always been. I, I, we just talked about this on the radio show passionately. How you know. There's nothing wrong with being homosexual and a parent, and, and I mean, I, I've I've family members who are homosexual, and their kids turn out fine, and I have heterosexual family members, and their kids turn out shit. It really, it's really just hard to say that that's the reason why, you know. You know, Mo, and, and so many people are scared of uh, people condemning them before because they're gay. You know what? Uh, if you reveal to your friends, your family, that you're gay, how long do you think that they will be uh, interested in this topic? You'll be lucky if, you'll, if they'll be talking about you one full week. They'll be bored. Sure. With so many homosexuals <laughs> around, they'll be bored talking about you. That's and right. you just have to go on with your life. And uh, if you turn out to be a father and you're gay, that doesn't mean that you cannot love. Anyone you love truly, sincerely, Will, will return love. So that's what you do to your daughter. And the rest will just be very, very easy. There you go, B-Boy. From experience. Okay. Mm. You should, you're going to be fine. But, All right, man. Yeah, Thanks but, for calling. We appreciate it. it. Sorry, but, go ahead. Has what? it ever? Hmm? Hello? Has it ever what? <laughs> what it? are you doing, yeah. B-Boy? <laughs> <laughs> has it ever what? <laughs> B-Boy's not concentrating. Has it ever what? Uh, has, has it ever happened that uh, your daughter uh, got bullied because of you being gay? Uh, no. Yeah, um, uh, you, know, you know what I uh, initially did? To prevent this from happening, I usually am in her, in her school. I get to know her classmates even before that she gets to know her classmates. So, ano na, para bang masisir, ay, yun, ang tatay niya. No? Tapos na. They are, they are all so you mean you scare them prior no, to no, before you, she interacts with them? You go there like, puta nga kayo ha. Pag may ginawa kayo sa anak ko, puta nga. Yung bang you make your presence, uh, you make them feel your presence. The, Ay, yun yung ano pala. And then, and then I'm very, uh, you know, mo, I'm very friendly. So i- instead of bullying my daughter, you know, the, she brings them all to our uh, little house. I feed yeah, them. Yeah, you're a lot of fun. <laughs> right, right. You're like, mm. so you win them over. Right? Yeah, and you win them way, over. If you've ever met... If you ever uh, have met Ar- Arnell, I mean, you've seen him on TV. He's just a fantastic game show host. I mean, God, you're you're one of the best game show hosts that we've ever had in the industry. Thank you. But when you meet him, when you meet him in person, though, as well, it's almost like you're on the on a game show at the same time. He's very charming, very Whoa. accommodating. You know, yeah, he'll make fun of you a little bit, a uh, punchline, but it's it's nothing. You know, <clears throat> it's nothing degrading. It's always a good time. You know, again, it's it's like it is. It's like off air, on air. You really don't know with you because you have that <laughs> pleasant. 
kind of like, hey, welcome to my show, which is life kind of attitude about it. And it, I, I guess it wins people over no matter how young they are and how old they are. It is, it is again, it's, it's a certain kind of charm that if you have, you, you're going to end up sleeping, yes, with two to three hundred people. <laughs> I mean, it really does work. Okay. Exactly. Thanks, B-Boy. Appreciate the call. Have a good one. We got a lot, we got a lot of Thank phone you. calls tonight, so we got to get to them. Uh, K25 Cavite. How are you, K? K25. I'm K- good. <laughs> What's going on, love? How are you? This is Hello. Arnell Ignacio, the Hi, very Kay. funny, charming Arnell. All right, Kay, your question. Hello. Hi, Arnell. Hi. Hi. What's up? Uh, so, here goes. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm suddenly embarrassed. <laughs> no, um, no, don't worry, we don't okay. see. It's a tough, qu- it's a tough question. I, I'm looking at it right now. It's pretty tough, but yeah, go ahead. All right, so, okay, so my partner, we've been together for a long time, and then uh, suddenly, uh, no, not suddenly, uh, he Gradually. started asking this little by little, he wanted to have um, anal sex, so I was... <laughs> inner sex? What's inner sex? A- anal. Ah, anal yeah. sex. You, you, you want some tips? <laughs> <laughs> so, no. I'm just wondering if uh, it's safe, is it uncomfortable, painful? <laughs> Um, okay, we're, I'm sure we're going to have two schools of thought here. There's mine and there's Arnell. Arnell. I already Arnell. I mean, if Arnell is enjoying all of the horrible shit that's happened, I'm sure anal sex is like a massage. To me, yeah. it's, it's, you know, otherworldly. It's, 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 it's rough. Okay, but anyway, let's get to Arnell because he's the positive one here first. Um, is it safe? Is it uncomfortable when you first did it, Arnell? Did you enjoy it? I mean, what, what's, the de- what's the deal here in anal sex? Break it down for me. Well, well, it takes some time before you enjoy it. And I discovered that if you really want this partner to penetrate you there, you'll be enjoying it. Yeah. Mm. So you Is want- there a cleaning process that you have to do? Yeah. Have you had moments where <laughs> doing anal sex, I mean, how? Yeah, well, you just I mean, have to prepare to, mean- to explain that. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on one second. Arnell, you're, oh. you're full of stories, and the, oh, they're all true. I mean, I know the truth because when you told me your police story, which we'll get to in, in just a little bit, I thought it was bullshit. I was like, that can't happen. That does not happen. And then two years later, you're still in court. You're still in court. I'm like, okay, it's, it's really, really true. Okay, anyway, so give me your just for her let's paint a picture for Kay here give me the, the the craziest anal sex story that you could remember in the 200 people or whatever that, that, that was the first that, time I did it to piss off my dad uh, brought <laughs> <laughs> brought home <laughs> brought home somebody from Kalesa I paid him 30 pesos <laughs> <laughs> we walk we walk with uh, so we uh, I was able to accommodate it <laughs> while walking <laughs> because uh, it's uh, it's it's um, how do you explain this uh, there has to be some sort of a ritual before you can enjoy anal sex but first do you want to do it I, I mean uh, I'm, I'm talking good about question yeah. if you don't hey, want to do, do it you do won't it? enjoy it uh, I'm just curious <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> maybe uh, once are you already <laughs> doing it because this, you sound like you're already doing it <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Okay. laughs> Kate, hey, do you want to do it because you're 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 a sexual kind of like um, you know what I mean? You want to explore your own sexual kind of I guess what is it sexuality or I mean what's well, fun in the bedroom? Or do you want to do it? Do you want to do it because your boyfriend wants to do it and you just want to make him happy? Uh, maybe the latter. Yeah, of course it's the latter. Uh, okay, how about this? Okay, let's go with is it safe? Well, it is not very. It's not Where very condoms. safe. Well, no, it's not even that. You know, you can. Pro- okay, how about this? Go to Google. Do, do me a favor. Do you have a computer next to you? Uh, yeah. Okay, k- k- open a Google page right now. We're gonna do this together. All right. I, I, want, I want to do this. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna open up a Google page and you open a Google page and then we gotta take a commercial break. And I want you, know, you to. I want you to honestly, na arouse ako just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, like I did it. I also did it with a girl and oh, oh, masarap. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right, hold on. Here we go. Sa Marikina kami nag <laughs> Okay, do me a favor. Go to right. uh, go to Google. Right. Let me know when you're there. Okay. Okay. Type this uh, this phrase. Prolapse. P R O L A P S E. Space. Okay. Anus. A N U S. Mm-hmm. And click enter. Search. Okay. <laughs> then go to images. <laughs> Oh my well, click on images. Yeah, click on images. Okay. Right, and let me know when you've clicked on images. Oh my god, Nasha. Yeah, have you clicked on images? <laughs> <That's disgusting. laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, okay. You see discouraging them on the outside. <laughs> You see all of those prolapse anus, prolapse, rec- prolapse rectum, any of those things? See, this is what this is. This can happen but, when you do this. But, but you can do okay, that. See, I hear the staff go- in the background going, no! <laughs> <laughs> <It's- laughs> oh, oh. What's that? Oh, my gosh. What's <laughs> Okay, this, that can happen when you have anal sex. Huh? That never and happened to a, me. <laughs> <laughs> Did it happen to you? Started you started young. You started young. You're your season. You started young. Okay, listen. I'm just you asking me if it's safe. You can tear the lining, of course, of the 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 rectum and all this stuff. It, it can get it can get nasty. All right, unless you're careful. Okay, um, if you're gonna do it, if you're gonna do it, okay, heavy lubrication. You don't just kind of fuck this this you know your boyfriend and all of a sudden flip over and, and let him put his dick in you. Does he have a big penis? Uh, y- yes. <laughs> oh, so you yes. must have okay. compared it with so many. <laughs> no. So, Arnell, Arnell, when you see a big dick, do you go, okay, no no anal sex here. Too big of a dick. Mm, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> it can be accommodated. <laughs> depending, oh. uh, you know what? I mean, there, there are gadgets that you can buy, you know, to, for you to be clean before the activity. And plus, don't go to... Uh, don't go to a party before doing that. I mean, fiesta, you know, you know what I yes, mean? Right. Oh, don't eat too much. No, or what I got lechon, I got gangkong. Seneca. Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. No, this is a lot of, uh, uh, um, a great percentage for you to, uh, that matter for you to enjoy this is, uh, I know, it's, it's mental, it's mental. Uh, if you're aroused with the, Concept, you can do it, but if not, I know. Wag na lang. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you'll end Kay. up in one of the pictures as a prolapse. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, okay. Here's the thing: we're listening to your voice. I don't think you're ready, Arnell. I don't think she's ready. And and if if the reason for it is just to please your boyfriend because he wants it, then really you're not ready for this. It, it's it's too hardcore. Kaya lang mo she wants to try it. <laughs> Honestly. Stick a finger in your butt and see what that's like. Stick oh. two fingers in your butt, in your butt. When you and guys are having sex, me. yeah. Well, I mean, have, have sex on top of him. Pliers. You know, Bottom guide his fun. finger. Yeah, guide his finger into your butthole and then <laughs> put one in there and see how you like it. No, <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, I'll try. <laughs> okay. okay. Try okay. pliers. Right, gonna, no, vice grip. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, do you guys do any other crazy stuff in the bedroom? I mean, w- give me give me a story. Oh, uh, there was a time we we my partner and I were getting bored already with the usual things that we were doing. So I thought, sure. why don't we do a sixty-nine standing up? Kaya <laughs> payat yeah, hello, RD. Yeah, this was way back in. <laughs> He's from La Salle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, talino. And uh, binuat niya. Oh, so we were doing the 69 standing buhat, up. Buhat, buhat, yeah. vertical 69. Yes, Love yes. It. And he, uh, <laughs> nabitawan niya ako. <laughs> I mean, I fell on the floor. <laughs> there was no dick on the floor. <laughs> His dick wasn't that long. It's a totoo no, and then my mom started. Oh. Arnell, 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 Arnell. Wow, this is the radio. <laughs> but that's true. I fell on oh, the, the floor. Radio. I fell on the floor. Oh man! Mm, so we just love slept. it. Love it. We just slept. Tulog na lang kami. Sakit ng ulo. I know. I remember. Thanks for the that. call, Kay. We appreciate it. If you do have the anal sex, please call us back or tweet Arnell and tell him about it. You can follow him on Twitter at Arnell Ignacio. We got to take a commercial break. When we come back, Arnell. We we have a lot of calls, my friend. <laughs> All over the country. <laughs> we probably have 12 to 15 calls on hold, uh, ready to go. So we will try to get them after the commercial break. Don't go away. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. There are text text friends. Always on call friends. Not just Facebook friends. Bring them all together with Go Only 30 from Globe Prepaid. Go call, go text, go share. For only 30 pesos a day, don't just get a network of friends, go get a globe of them. 
Go make it happen with Go Only 30. Go lang ng go! Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drug stores and supermarkets nationwide. What you've been missing on the factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but you know, I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this time of year, right? Elections. <laughs> Uh, you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story, okay? <laughs> Children do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just so you know your rights, if you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you are not we're able to, to verify all of these, James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically... <laughs> now, number two. Upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and slow turn down. on cabin lights. Okay. Cabin lights. Mm -hmm. Lock all doors of vehicles during inspection. Since lock? Oh, lock. They might get uh, pissed off because nope. you're locking But that's doors. the thing. Okay. This is where they get you. And this is actually, I know we're making fun of it a little bit, but yeah. this is a serious issue. We've seen some people genuinely harass. Drugs are planted. Yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah, and, and other things, stories. you know. Um, a Justin Bieber CD is planted, which is even worse. Oh, yes, no. I've heard of that, you know. And there's no defense for that. Well, it's just there's Bieber really no defense. With the, yeah, it's with like, but like, Your Honor, we found this. I well, throw, throw the book at him. And the then CD as well. You, to, you know, then after that, you have to submit your cell phone and everything. Yeah. And ne next thing you know, you know, you have a Justin Bieber ringtone. <laughs> oh, Catch James Lord, Deacon and the boys on Counterflow Wednesdays, 7:30 to 8:30, only here on the factory. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. Sabrina's Kitchen is going to be back in your kitchen. Sabrina, we're hungry. Okay, it's coming. Every Saturday, 6.30 p.m., Lifestyle Network. Where else? Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped a compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com.
back on the podcast here on this Friday night. I'm glad that uh, so many people have uh, joined us. A lot of phone calls tonight for you, Arnel Ignacio, as well as on Skype, the Good Times Podcast. If you want to get through uh, that way, you can also text us, and we'll try to give you a call. But again, the priority is the, the landline. You call the landline, you're going to get on the program, guaranteed. Our text line is 927 360 0485 Good Times Mo the Podcast Season 2 brought to you by Glow My name is Mo And our guest again tonight Follow him on Twitter At Arnel Ignacio I want to talk about Is it a musical Or a play I mean I know you're doing The Full Monty We'll talk yes. about it in, in like 5 minutes though. Okay. But is it a musical Or is it a play It's a musical Musical. It's a musical the Fantastic And he's a part of that And it is an interesting Well I mean It's a very popular uh, Brand A mm-hmm. franchise but uh, let's find out who's in it and what they do right after this uh, phone call. Let's go to line number one. And after that, we'll do some full Monty talk. Who's on line one here? You are Ron, 23, in Manila, on a cell phone. What's up? What's up, Ron? How are you? This is Arnel Ignacio. What's up? Hi, Ron. Hi, sir. Hello. Hi. 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 Go ahead. What's Hi. up? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I have a girlfriend. We've been together for more than two years now. And he has a brother. Well, apparently that his, he thinks he's gay. But we were really, very, really close even before until he admitted that to me. Because he also told me that I was the only person, I was the first person who knew that. And just recently, I think he goes to pick me up after work. And I think he's quite teasing me. He's what? Sorry, sorry, <clears throat> sorry, sorry, Ron, Ron, your cell phone's uh, cutting off here. Let me let me try to summarize the story, make sure I'm correct here, and then tell me if I'm wrong. Uh-huh. You have a girlfriend who has uh-huh. a brother, and the uh-huh. brother came out to you saying that he was gay, and you're the first person he's come out to, and now he's picking you up at work. Mm. Mm, yes. Oh. Has he said, yes. though, he has he verbalized to you that he's attracted to you and he likes you? He, he told you yeah. you're the only person that he's... Uh, He's admitted that he was gay too, but did he say that he wants to have sex with you or he wants to take you out? He wants to no, romance no, you? Not, no, not, not verbally. But I'm quite confused. Or, uh, siguro, iniisip ko lang, or nilalagyan ko lang ng malis. But, ano eh, if there were really times na pagka nandun lang kami sa bahay nila, oh. yun, parang, he keeps on asking me weird sex stuff. Oh. Like, how long is my, ganto, my penis? Show so, him. Know, it's been bothering me now kahit kami nung I don't know siguro kahit yung pag-aaway namin ng girlfriend ko nag-aaway kami na aviate ng girlfriend ko I don't know if it has something to do with this ano scenario pero para no, it's really I, 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 me no I don't, I don't think you know you and your girlfriend fighting has anything to do with her brother unless again she feels threatened by the brother and it's become this weird chaotic situation at the house but what's the question though so I mean yeah he he's gay he you think he likes you he's asking you sexual questions mm-hmm. uh, what's the problem I think he's curious more. I actually yeah you I point out your problem question ko hindi ko lang brother Brother. Uh, would you would would you are you attracted to the brother at all? Even a little bit? I think I don't know. Just I, mean, I don't know. Ah, you are. You don't know. Baka maputi. <laughs> Hello? Maputi yung brother. You know, it's funny because you know, I, 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 I hear all of their questions and then I go to Arnell and I say, Arnell, did this happen to you? And then Arnell probably has a scenario where it has yeah. happened to him where you've slept with both the sister and the brother in a relationship. You know, have you ever done that where you fuck the family, Arnell? <laughs> no, I, I had a relationship with a married man. Uh, the wife, yeah, the wife joined us and we ended up uh, me going out with his wife. Oh, then, then. So you so you had a threesome with a married couple, mm-hmm. and then you also kind of separately was fucking his wife and the husband on separate occasions. Uh, but, but it, well, it didn't take a long time before we told him, and then okay, naman. So Ron, Ron, you. <clears throat> So what's happening here? You, you kinda, you're kind of like a female, Ron, where, you know, in, I mean, emotionally, where you're having problems with your girlfriend. Your, the, her brother comes into the picture and consoles you and takes care of you and picks you up at work and you're, rom- you're romanced and you're finding something in him that you're not finding from your girlfriend. Oh. And then, boom, before you know it, you know. Uh, you're having sex with her brother. Um, are <laughs> are you – yeah, because this is, this is what's going to happen. Uh, 
are you and your girlfriend okay? I mean, yes, you guys fight a lot, but are, have you cheated on her before? Is is this? Are, do you see a breakup coming up? He's about to. <laughs> I yeah. I haven't cheated before. Siguro muntik pero hindi na tutuluyan. Pero ngayon breakup. I think we're at our worst right now. <laughs> Siguro. Mm. He's not upset. <laughs> do you want? Do you want? Do you want? Do you want to fuck her brother before you before you break over there? Just just pardon, just to have pardon, that. Excuse me. Do you want to fuck her brother just to, before you break up? Just just so you can kind of have He's that laughing. wild story to tell you. No, because it's that wild story you can tell your friends para sikat ka sa party, you know? Can you can you like, pari, pari, nag-trisam ako last week. Oh, pero tangin na po, tingnan mo to. Tangin na girlfriend ko, kinatong brother ko, brother niya. I mean, both the girlfriend and the brother. You know what I mean? It's a nice, wild novelty story that you could always have and tell your grandchildren and all of that stuff. But... um. So, so okay, I don't know what you want to do, though. You see, uh, Ron. I mean, because your question is, "Hindi ko alam." You know, your question is, "Hindi ko alam anong gagawin ko." Well, I don't know either. I mean, he, he, Mo, you know he, what he really wants to say? He wants to give it a try, and and I think I. Uh, what's your name again? Yeah, no, what's wrong? Huh? Ron, 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 Ron. I think you're Ron, interested yeah. already. You, you're, you know, because when you start having problems with your girl and then anybody comes in and gives you this affection, the comfort, and at your age, in 23, in generation, usually, hindi na masyadong stricto sila sa if I, you know, if I'll be, you know, going out, going out and doing it with this guy. Mm. Very permissive. Yeah, but okay, that's why I said, that's why I said his personality is very reminiscent of a female because mm. the female is the one that, for example, has a boyfriend, has a husband. They're, they're in a very bad relationship. She then confides in her office mate na babae. Mm. The girl is like, hindi, okay lang yan. Nandito naman ako para sa'yo. And they shoulder to cry on. Before you know it, they're in a lesbian relationship. That doesn't mm. happen to guys, though. Guys don't do that. Like, Arnel... If, if I was having girlfriend problems, and, and I mean, I, I think you're funny, I think you're handsome for your age, I think you're experienced, I would never fuck you, though, because it doesn't happen to guys where, it doesn't happen to guys where if I'm having a problem with my girlfriend, I'm going to jump to the other sex and then find my sexual, you know, console, consoling moment there. It doesn't happen to us. Well, and that's why this guy is wrong. very reminiscent. Right, it's gonna happen, Ron. He's a very reminiscent of a, of a, of a, of a female personality. Now, but let me ask you this, Ron. Aside from this guy, in your 23 years in life, have you ever had a homosexual experience? About twice? Wala pa. Wala. Mm. Wala pa. So this is, this is new territory. Okay, Arnel, listen. Uh, you know, it's, it's funny because I have to alter my opinions based on my guests. Not on purpose, but I think I just nahahawa ako sa, sa liberated or conservative. Like yesterday, we had a very conservative group of people, and my answers would be very conservative if, if, if this came about. I have a very, you know, liberated, open minded guest. I tend then to be a little open minded and liberated myself. Of course, my. Mo would say, don't do it. You're going to cause uh, family problems between the both of them. They're going to fucking hate each other. Then it's going to be a scandal because the brother has not come out yet with the family. You know what I mean? It's going to be big scandal, big problems. Yeah, but That's I what I would generally say. Yeah, I, the, same however, thing, the same thing. I would say the same thing too. <laughs> yeah, but however, listening to Arnell's you know, ex- life experience and all of that stuff. This might be a story to tell one day. You never know. You know, you can be on a podcast on your own, and you know, you can say, hey, "Listen, I once fucked my girlfriend's brother." Um, Arnell, your your thoughts, final thoughts on this? Well, I, I uh, Ron, I I wouldn't uh, dare do this, in, considering the situation. Sabihin mo na muna sa kanila lahat. If you can, if you're brave enough. I mean, if you're brave enough, sa sarili mo na. Uh, I, I think I want to do this because you also owe that to yourself. Pero not in this situation unless you got clean. From any relationship, para wala masasagasaan. Mm. Magulo yet yan. you, yet, yet you fucked the husband and his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Pero you know, <laughs> and, 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 and you regret it. And, and, and no, you, no. Uh, ah, me consent. Okay, both <laughs> of them. Okay, both of them wanted it. Okay, you, you're, you're always on the safe side when when you declare this is what I want. I used to have a girlfriend. I told her I will never separate from my wife. Well, that was how I thought of my mm-hmm. relationship. Uh, kaya kahit ano sabi niya, ano na, nilino ko na eh. It's like, uh, you know, having a contract. This is everything that I can give sure. you. Pero yan, and then, yan, and they, they say yes or no. Hmm. Man, I've ne- again, I've never been in a situation like that where I can just go up to a girl and say, listen, I have a girlfriend. If you don't mind, I'll fuck you anytime you want. Like, I, I, I I've that. never had that. Yeah, that's amazing. All right. Thanks for the call, um, Ron. Right. Good luck with your uh, situation. And please follow up with us. We're intrigued. Thanks, thanks for the call, Thank man. You. Appreciate it. All right, again, ton of calls. 
full lines like crazy. But before we take more calls, I want to take a few minutes here to talk to, to Arnell about his current project. April 27, we will uh, see... And when I say we will see, we will see it all yes. from uh, Arnell and the people in his, uh, you know, his co-stars in his musical. Mm-hmm. It's the Full Monty. If you are not familiar with the Full Monty, it's a very what's a classic British, um, yeah. That, no. I mean, series, franchise, movie. I mean, musical, all of it. I mean, it's very, very popular. But what makes it kind of stick out, and what makes people remember the Full Monty most, is the nudity involved, male nudity, and. Um, this, again, this is April 27. Uh, it is showing, of course, in, in Manila. We'll, we'll ask you the exact venue. But you're going to be uh, full frontal naked, you and, yes. and then some of the guys you're, you're, uh, you're yes, on the uh, play with. Uh, probably a little more interested to see Mark Bautista naked more than they want to see me. I mean, <laughs> and it's, it's Mark Bautista like dick hanging out type of. Like, he looks like, like he's somebody like that. <laughs> it, it's, it's not like. Wait, wait, it's not like it's, um, you know, my bench fashion show na si Wendell magpap. Magpapakita ng puwet. You know, hindi naman ganun. Or Jake no, Cuenca, magpapakita. I mean, tangin ang full frontal talaga. Ito talaga, hubot-hubot. No? Because that's the, that's the story. We have to go naked to get the $50,000. And ano, uh, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a very heartwarming story that ends up in, uh, with six guys going naked on stage. Nakakatawa ba? So the six of you guys... Mm. Fucking full <laughs> dick hanging out yes. naked in a musical in the Philippines. Yes. So, Full we'll, frontal will get you X-rated from the MTRCB <laughs> boom and then bam. Well, we'll face a problem when when we get there. Like well, after we've been saying, let it go, oh, let only, it go. This is only gonna run. This is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna run for one night. That's the problem. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to You know, rehearse every day, rehearse every day. But right. gonna, it runs for one night. Banned by the Catholic Church. <laughs> no, 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 but really, wait, 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 no, I'm sorry to cut you off, but okay. Full Monty, everybody knows what's going to happen. It, mm-hmm. Again, it's like Titanic. You know that the, sh- the, the ship is going to sink at the end. You know in Full Monty, Full Monty there's going uh, to be nudity and full frontal male nudity, which is super taboo in our country. I don't know what. Is there a, is there a uh, clause there that if it's for art's sake, okay, lang, but won't this be banned? Uh, I don't think so. See, w- when you get to see the whole musical, it has to lead there. I, I think it will be just one snap. And then, ano na, uh, blackout. Kahit na. <laughs> Kahit na. All right, now let's get to the question that everybody wants to know. Does Mark Bautista have a big dick or not? Uh, eh, ooh, 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 I'm going to find out. Pero oh, yeah, ayon oh, sa mga chismis. <laughs> 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 Mataba. <laughs> Short and stout. <laughs> um, okay, who else is in this? Okay, okay, a lot of a lot of obviously a lot of focus on Mark. And Mark's a big star, but uh, who else is in this uh, musical? Marco Sison, he's going to go naked too. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Wilson, uh, Nino Alejandro, and OJ Mariano, and me. Mm. Pero mo, more than the nudity, alam mo, nung una, ano talaga, uh, dun lang ako nakafocus eh. But then after, you know, reading the script, going through the rehearsals, uh, it's a beautiful story. Of, it is, it is. You know, it's a very popular story, right? like, like me, I, I'm, I, play, uh, I play a straight, uh, well, straight pala nga ako dun. I have a wife who I spoil, I love so much, mm. and so scared that she'll find out that I lost my job and I can't buy her the things that she wants, like her $80 slumber cream. <laughs> you know, and, <laughs> and si, ano naman, si Mark uh, is a father na walang kwenta, kaya yung anak niya, hindi niya mabigay yung, yung ano ba to? Yung, yung ano ba? Hulog ka sasabihin ko. <laughs> yung, <laughs> and then, yun. Each one has a story, but it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful, beautiful story. Mm, ng, ano, Got it. But human relationships. It. Yeah. April 27, where? Mm, at the RCBC Theater. Carlos Ooh, Piro, uh, yeah. fancy. Yeah. Fancy. Uh-huh. Oh, big production then, huh? So probably the Catholic Church will support. They're, yeah, in, a, see, they're big, in a very high mood ngayon with the new Pope who looks like <laughs> Joaquin <right>. Bernas. <laughs> Di ba ka mukha ni Joaquin Bernas yung bagong Pope? Pope Francis. Pope Francis. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, but, but, but big venue. I mean, big venue means big production, a uh, lot of press that you yes. guys are going to get, you know, late next month. I mean, did you have to put it so close to Holy Week? Where? Oh, no. Maybe yeah. you should have done this in August, you know, when there's nothing going on or in the during, world. During the Holy Week. That's right. Yeah. Jesus. You might as well show it Black Friday. All right. Um... Okay, well, you know, again, I'm sure, I'm sure, uh, come next month, you are going to be bombarded with 
I mean, it's just, it's going to be controversial, obviously. <laughs> I'm sure Mark is going to get a ton of people asking mm. him questions about this. Um, and, I mean, you, all of you guys too, but just, you know, Mark, there's so much surrounding with him, sexual orientation with him. You know, there's all these kind of oh, things. No, That's why no, something no. like this, yeah, something like this is, is, he's kind of like, he's kind of li- digging his own grave in terms of, um, <laughs> You know, intrigue and stuff. And I like Mark. He's a very friendly guy. I mean, he's yeah. a nice, nice man. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, we'll see. Ha, no, so, mataba. 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 Yun ang sabi na. nung ano, naka, naka sex niya dun sa bahay ni, ano, <laughs> <laughs> sa, uh, <laughs> sa may, ano, nga ba yung bahay niya? Sa may, <laughs> may Eastwood. <Ay. laughs> sa village daw. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Speaking of uh, his character and uh, dad asking for money and all that stuff, let's talk to Ariane here. Ariane, you're 18. You're on line four. You're calling from San Juan, and your question very much related, to, I guess, to that story. Hi, Ariane. How are you? We have uh, we have Arnel Ignacio on the program. Hi. What's up? Um. Well, I called here before. Okay. And mm-hmm. I told you guys that I have lupus. Right, uh, you know. Again, uh, Arian, as yan. much as yeah, as much as um, I'd love to re- remember that. I, I don't right now. So let's go ahead and and tell the story again, and let's find out what's up. So you have lupus. So I'm sorry, I have lupus, but... and my dad works far, and okay. he found out that he has another family. And oh, then, I remember this. Right, right. Okay, yeah. Last Sunday, I asked for money because it's coming up, and I need to have some tests. And sure. he didn't answer me, but he texted my mom that, technically, long story short, he said that we were being too dependent. Wow. And what an I don't answer. know how to deal with that because that's just too much. Already. Um, do you know what lupus is, uh, Arnel? Oh, I'm not too familiar with it. And the only, yeah, it, the it, closest it's, thing it's just... I have with lupus is President Marcos. <laughs> 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 lupus is a uh, it's a degenerative uh, uh, disease Arian, something like that. It's it's a big time disease. Mm-hmm. And um hmm, how do you say it with a girl on the phone? Uh people die from it. Mm-hmm. Regular. Yeah. It's 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 tough. It, it's tough. And um I didn't get what his father said. Father said that what? he's they're becoming too dependent on him. <gasps> For, for money, I mean, but does he does he provide at all, or, or I mean, to help you out with this? He does, he does, but he's having a hard time right now. But you okay. don't say oh. that. Yeah, shit. Your mom shouldn't have even told you either, because that's, oh, no. that's you know, it, it's hard to, no, I to, saw to that hear that. He, he didn't oh, tell did. me. I just yeah. saw it. Oh. Yeah, it's 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 it. Gosh, it's 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 a it's tough. Yeah. It's a tough disease, and and yeah, I mean, people die at a young age. People die at an old age from it. I mean, it's it's rough. All right. Anyway, so never mind. Um, okay, what's the question? I don't know how to deal with him. I I need to. I don't know how to tell him respectfully that it's just too much, and I didn't ask well, for any of this. And yeah, I know. God, you know, Arian. It, what sucks is like. God, I, I don't even know if you still believe in God. It would be hard for me. It's like, gosh, I, I'm a teenager or I'm I lupus, and my dad's mm-hmm. still a dick. I mean, uh, God is tough. If you do, and again, I'm not a big, I'm not a big, uh, you know, religious guy, but people do kind of just pray it out. Mm-hmm. They, 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 they go to I church. Did, I did. You know, they, they kind of because I'm, I'm trying to just trying to get you to accept your dad. I mean, the lupus you already know. I'm sure you by now you've accepted it. You sound pleasant on the phone. The so, lupus. Yeah, yeah, you have lupus, but you have, you sound pleasant. You're not, you don't sound depressed. You just don't want your heart broken anymore. Your, your, your heart's broken already. You don't, you don't, people don't need to step on it. Let's, let's do this. People, you know, we have a tendency, especially here in the Philippines, to say, Tatay mo pa rin yan. So, dapat mahalin mo. I say, fuck him. Don't expect anything from him. Fuck him. Fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. When, when your dad fucks over your family and leaves you for another family, when your dad, da, 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 fuck these guys, man. You don't have to love them. I, I want you to treat your dad as you would treat anyone else. Meaning, you have to earn, like my love for you, my respect for you. My, you know, I, I mean, again, Arnell, I, maybe you're a little old school. I don't know where your thoughts are, but mm. if her dad acts like this, then don't be disappointed in him because he already is a fucking disappointment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, you know, th- no, no, no need, no need to further, no need to further feel bad about his decisions because you already know he's a loser, mm-hmm. and it won't bother you anymore. How old is she? How old is your dad? She's eighteen. No, oh, you're his dad. Um, her yeah. dad. Sixty-five. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. A fifty-five, and he talks that way. Oh, um, you know, I, I, I had my share of, you know, 
problems, big problems. But um, what I usually do is to divide these problems into departments and solve them one by one. So uh, I can schedule when I will feel bad about one department. And it helps me a lot. <laughs> you know, you take, for first you solve your, the problem with your, your, the disease. And then the father problem, your relationship, probably uh, tomorrow it may not be the same, next week, next year. But don't, don't dwell on that because there's nothing you can do about it now. There's nothing you can do about it now. So malulungkot ka lang. Diba? Uh, I, I know and you want to be hugged. You know, you know, you 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 want to feel it. Or so, you, uh, your father's mm-hmm. love. Kaya lang ngayon hindi hindi yun available. Eh. Parang ako mawalan signal. That's true. Yun. Oh. Yeah, that, that, that that's a very good point. It's it isn't available. And if it isn't available, and you sell that to yourself, and you believe it, then you won't be disappointed when. It's not available because it's come to be expected. It's like almost thinking negatively about things. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'm a negative thinker. If I'm going to go out for a job offer, for example, I'm already in my mind, I'm not going to get this job. But when I don't get it, eh, eh, I, I knew it. And then if I get it, wow, I really got it. You know, all of a sudden it's a big mm-hmm. deal. But you don't want to be negative all the time about a, a lot of things. I mean, look at, look at uh, Arnell here. He just said earlier, he's a positive guy. He looks mm-hmm. at the bright side and of, of all of things. In this situation, I am a just, positive girl. It's just hard. Right. It's really hard. It, it is very hard. It, don't don't expect too much from your dad. He is a clear, established asshole, and you know, if he if he shows up miraculously, say he has a he has a, a moment of clarity when he goes, my daughter needs me, and he comes over and drops oh, no. off twenty thousand pesos, then then wow, great. But in the meantime, mm-hmm. let's try to limit the disappointment and mm-hmm. expect your dad mm-hmm. to be an asshole because he is. My heart goes to you. I can you. Mm. Oy, I can give you a hug, a fatherly hug. Just wash up after. Um, yeah, yeah, that's right. She's from San Juan. Um, all right, all right, Arian. Listen oh, again, anyway. and you know, you and your mom concentrate on on getting better. You can get better. Yeah. You know, I mean, again, you, you know that. Mm. And uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't be don't be disappointed anymore in him. He's he's a fucker. And you, hopefully, we, you can come up with the funds for for the test. All right. All right. Thank you so much. All right, baby. Well, no worries. Guys, hang in there. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, love. We appreciate Hi. it. Bye bye. How can somebody uh, who's fifty-five years old say that to his daughter? No? He, he, said it to, he said it to the wife, but yeah, how can you even think it? Mm. Is what it is. Oh, I, I mean, you have a legitimate disease, one that takes mm. lives, and then yet, fuck, mm. that's terrible, man. Mm. Terrible. All right, mm. put him on your murder list, Arnell, <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> so <laughs> so the people you want to you want to kill. No, no. Uh, let's take a break. When we come back, more of your calls at four seven eight seven nine five four. Catch us on Skype with the Good Times Podcast. Hey, the full Monty shows April twenty seven on RCBC. You might want to check that out, especially the first night, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> just think it's like second night. <laughs> Taking a break. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. There are text text friends. Always on call friends. Not just Facebook friends. Bring them all together with Go Only 30 from Globe Prepaid. Go call, go text, go share. For only 30 pesos a day, don't just get a network of friends, go get a globe of them. Go make it happen with Go Only 30. Go lang lang go. Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drugstores and supermarkets nationwide. What you've been missing on the factory. Now we're going to show you guys the new beta that just came out yesterday. It's God of War Ascension, the private beta. For and PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus. Let's watch it, right? It's nice. It's, and we can play already. Yes. Yep. There you go. And perfect <laughs> timing. <laughs> perfect timing. <laughs> well, before that, I was... I was kicking ass. <laughs> so go with the theme of the show, How Not to Play. It's Robot Rice and Friends with Alfonso Martinez, Mickey Han, and Nigel Zalameo. Fridays, 6 to 7 p.m., only here on The Factory. 
Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. What you've been missing on the factory. Then the maid got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not. <laughs> Tears up. Tears up. Anyway, John this does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so John this, and I'm now happy to present to you Carlo Tayo. Look at me, the third of it. Tayo, so many snacks. What about dog? Any of that? Tapos? Ang puto yan, mama. Ay, tapo. Dito ba? Pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Consider. Ayan na. Para sa show mo, ha? O. Oh. Aray ko. Ang mayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Zora, pang ano ba ito? Oil absorbing? Pwede pa itong pang nose line? <laughs> oh. Tito K, may caution. A when, caution! When caution! Ah! Basta ng glamour te! Oh. When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. <laughs> Burahin na, burahin na siya. Oh my God! Damn! Sorry, ma. Pabasa ka ang gamot! Ito talaga? Hindi, bago yan. Don't worry. Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi naman nagkakapin. Dapat pala, caution mo na yung pinakin natin. Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. Sabrina's Kitchen is going to be back in your kitchen. Sabrina, we're hungry! Okay, it's coming! Every Saturday, 6.30 p.m., Lifestyle Network, where else? Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped a compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. I'm Julia Snigowski. I'm Trisha Centenera. And we are the girls of 20. <laughs> okay, so you have to be wondering what on earth is 20. Exactly, so find out every Sunday night, 8 <coughs> 9. Hang out with us. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about everything under the sun. Girls, boys, boys boobs, so boobs. Okay, books. Books, you Of course, yeah. Eventually, the phone number will come. But <laughs> since in the meantime, we can't figure out the whole podcast thing, figure yeah. out, but we're trying to figure out boys, figure out... Because <laughs> we're going to make ourselves out, so we know what's going on. Exactly. Okay, anyway, anyway, our first podcast is this Sunday at 8. <clears throat> yeah. Please join us because we're, we're all, all here. here. My girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast here, it's Good Times with Mo, Season 2, brought to you by Globe. My name is Mo, our guest tonight, of course, the extremely, extremely eloquent and funny Arnell Ignacio. You can follow him on Twitter at Arnell Ignacio. I'm glad you're here tonight on a Friday, Arnell. Thank you very much Friday for taking these calls. 
Yes, Payday. So mm-hmm. Good stuff. Oh. Um, the Full Monty is the musical he will star in April 27th at the uh, to, RCBC. A few days out. in May. Great franchise. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Short run, huh? Mm. April 27th to uh, first week of May. Yeah, the... That's it? Yeah, that's it. That's just like, uh, what's that, like 10 shows? Something like that. Why do I, I mean, why, yeah, why? 10 is shows, it, 10 shows. Why is it like that? I mean, why not run for, gosh, I mean, I don't know what a season is when it comes to musicals. Musicals. I thought they ran like a year or something like oh, that, no, or six no. months. Yung King and I lang yata, yung run lang. Wow, I didn't know that. And that's, that's, so yes, really go see it. Okay, uh, it's going to be sold out every night. There's, the, 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 the uh, ongoing now is uh, um, Edith Piaf. Brilliant performance of um, Pinky Amador. Yeah, people sure. should watch it, and r- sure, after sure. that we come in. <laughs> after wow, I did PM. not. Oh yeah, it's a tough, tough, tough one to come in after. But but yeah, I'm, again, I'm sure you're going to get a lot of. Uh, you're going to get a huge audience. Wow, really? I didn't know ten shows only. Huh? Mm. I didn't know that it ran that way. But you know what? And I mean, how's the production like? I mean, is it big budget like like we think it is? I mean, is there a lot of uh, bells and whistles and stuff? Well, uh, compared to how it was years and years ago, this is a lot better. We get free food. Yeah. Free coffee, and that's a big bonus in <laughs> I theater. Mean, <laughs> I mean, the the the, 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 the musical itself, like the background, the the props. Uh, they will spend, I mean, it's they will spend on spend that. because Viva oh, is spend. Viva is partnering with Atlantis Atlantis Production. Mm. Gotcha. So mm, this is a, this is tre- tremendously better than how it how we used to see theater, and uh, Love it. very welcome development when uh, people are offered uh, theater. Mm. Sure, Dati sure. kasi lagi right. nilang movies and gay indie that's films right, right. with funny titles, Saguan. <laughs> 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 we have a question actually about indie films, uh, you know, about producing indie films coming up in a little bit. We'll see if we have time to get to Prince's question. But let's go to uh, Kulpi first. Kulpi, you are, I believe, 18 years old. You're in Cavite. Welcome to the show. How can we help you? Hello. Hi, Kulpi. Yeah. Mm. What's up? <laughs> um, okay. cool. Are you in the tunnel sorry, or go? something? Yeah, you sound you sound terrible, Koopy. Your connection is shit. But but let me, let's try to get it going though. What, what's your uh, what's your story? Your question. Okay, let me start. Uh, I have this girl that I like. Uh, yeah. He has a boyfriend, and his boyfriend is really young. The problem is Whoa! Oh, guy shit. Sounds like right. hell. I want to more morph. Okay, okay. So, so let me try to get it right. You have a girl. You have a, this girl that you like has a boyfriend, and the boyfriend beats her up. Is that what he said? My God, you're so talented. How did you understand yeah. that? <laughs> they, they typed it here on the show. Oh, okay. they, they typed it on my screen. Okay. <laughs> That's right. I could have lied and said, "Oh no, no, I could hear him clearly." No, but yeah, I'm lying. Um, is, is that what it is that uh, I, I'm trying to get? Is that your her her boyfriend beats her up? Yes. Okay, now now is in book book talaga, parang or abusive na verbally. What what kind? Not really, not really. So ano bino book book? No, yung like uh, semi bino book book. Tinutulak lang, <laughs> pinatama ni ulo sa glass. I didn't say sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. Who, who who's the guy? Is he okay? He has a story. Here's this guy, okay, this is an 18-year-old guy. The He's got a girl, friend. Friend, friend, yeah, bye-bye. Now, he has a crush on him. Now, his crush has a boyfriend, and your boyfriend is abusive. He wants to know what is he going to do about it. He's, oh, no, suntukan, he's going to, hey, what's going to happen here? Now, he wants he wants to protect her, but mm. he's just a friend. Now, here's the thing. It doesn't matter if you're just a friend. If a guy is hurting a girl, you have all the right to jump in and kick his ass. So you, but you have to wait for that moment where you see it happen because you can't beat him up basically on an accusation. That's something that the police mm. would have to investigate and all of that stuff if he's being abusive. Uh, it's, it's very sensitive here. But what you, want, what you want to try to do is get in a situation where you see him doing that to her and then you go kick his ass. Or you advise her, hey, listen, it's time to break up with this guy. I mean, because he's abusive, he's, this is a bad relationship for you and all of that. So you can be a friend and try to talk her into it. You can be a friend and talk to her other friends and say, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about, you know, blah, blah, blah. Because 
nahalat, medyo na napapansin ko yung boyfriend niya, abusive and stuff like that. Maybe we should all talk to her. So the whole barkada can talk to her and say, hey, listen, maybe you should move on or maybe we can protect you from him and stuff like that. The best case scenario, I mean, as, as, as wild as it may be, is if he's being abusive or is about to be abusive, you can step in, beat the shit out of him, be a hero, and win the girl like in the movies. Baka malaki yung boyfriend. Yung nga, yung lang. Malaki ba siya? <laughs> eh, does he look like he can kick... Does he look like he can beat you up? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> look to the other Mag-karate direction. <laughs> no, in the movies. Then he, learned, he learns karate and then he goes there and saves the girl. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's like uh, Back to the Future, you know? You have the nerd guy, then, you know, the, the bully, and he's you know, trying to win the girl, then you, you get to the car, you pull the fist, you punch him in the fucking face. Um, this is a this is a really nice situation to to to, to talk about right now. How say you? What do you think he's gonna do? Boyfriend's bigger, mm, abusive, what, bully. Um, f- first, how 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 reliable is the information that he, the girl gets? You know? Good question. Yeah, I mean, how do you, did, did you confirm that he is abusive? Called kulpi. No, it's not like that. Like that. That he did. Kulpi, I want to be abusive to you. I, we, we don't hear a word you're saying. <laughs> I mean, can you be a little bit louder or clearer on the microphone, if you don't mind? I'm, I'm so near the microphone. Can you not flush the toilet in the background? I mean, there's something there that's kind of fucking this one up. And, and it's a great story, and we'd like to hear it. Okay, it's not like, uh, did you confirm that the guy was abusive? No. 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 Okay, you got to confirm. You got to confirm. John. Yeah. Uh, it's not like yeah. the, it's not like this uh, guy is beating the girl. Oh, shit, you know what? It's going to iPhone show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Usually <laughs> happens. Listen, we're we're going to lower yeah, we're going to we're going to disconnect you and we're just going to talk about it a little bit and then you can download and, and listen to to the advice. Good point, Arnell. You have to confirm because you can't yes. just jump in a, a situation like that in someone else's relationship if you don't have solid information. Oh, my god, mama, I'm um, bukakalantang eh. Diba? And most That's of right. the time, Next most e- of the time, when you get uh, stories about relationships, usually it doesn't give you the true picture. And then here you come. Uh, and then, especially you know, if you have a conflict of interest there, yes. where you like the girl, because yeah, the thing is, you're her friend. You're supposed to be there for her friend, and then you come in and you the, the conflict of interest, which is you want her to break up with him because you mm. like her, and you're gonna find any story to jump off of and say, okay, this is what's happening, and I need I need and, I need this girl, and then you justify and next every, the happening. next move that you're going to make, and usually you end up alone because they end up peacefully uh, loving each other once again, and you end up being the villain because you're not alone. That's so right. it's quite delicate if you just jump into a situation like that na kwentuhan ka lang then you overreact because uh, And the know. kwento is not like oh she's oh, cheating he's cheating on someone it's like yeah. abuse I mean it's 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 different you know I mean your 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 reaction is different I mean next thing you know the guys walking down the street oh yan yung guy yan yung mm-hmm. asshole na you know binubugbog yung yung girl na but then the barkada goes and beats him up and all of a sudden hindi pala and then you fucked oh, oh, eh. and, and when you, you know? and when you ask him directly is he, you, you confirm uh, are you sure he can give us a straight answer and so baka, That's true. why why won't why don't he just court the girl tigawan na lang niya yeah kesa makialam yeah. pa siya dun sa ano so may, may the best man That's win. True. Win her over, yeah. Win her yeah. over with your great mm. Skype connection yeah. and <laughs> your great mm. charm, cool people. Mm. All right, let's go to some more calls. Sam twenty seven, you've been on hold for over an hour, Sam. Uh, you are in Tagig. You're on line two. Welcome to the program. How can we help you, Sam? Line two, Sam. Sam. Let's see if he's uh, maybe he's not there anymore. Hello, Sam. Did we lose him? Do you mind calling him back? Sorry, he was on hold for a long, long time, and he's got a good question. Yeah, let's move to Keith, who is 21 on line four. Keith, you're calling from Zamboanga. What's going on? Hello. Hi, hi, Keith. How are you? I'm fine. Um, well, uh, I'm the uh, I'm a kind of person. I am the usual tripper, which is like find some interesting girls or boys in the net and have sex after having chat. Oh. Well, my problem is, every time we have sex with these people, well, I kind of easily come, even though it's like only a blowjob or anything. So, like, I want to ask some advice on how to, um, let's say, uh, make it longer, even though, kasi kahit... 
uh, not so attractive the person is, but still mm. I easily do come. Now you come faster with guys or do you come faster with girls? I come faster with matter. girls. Oh. Depending. Some girls. guys do really uh had uh do really have talent in you know <laughs> I love sucking that. some uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> sucking your dick. Parang, gotcha. You know, it's funny because, uh, Arnold, we have three calls on hold, all the same problem. Come too fast. Um, I, 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 I'll, I'll take these calls because I want to ask how fast is fast. And, and we'll try to make, and ironically, we'll try to make the, uh, the calls as fast as possible as well because we have so many of the same ones. But how fast are you coming? Well, the fastest I had was like in less than 20 seconds. <gasps> Ay, putang ina. That's fast. Wawa naman yung partner mo. Why don't you jack hey, off this. before you do it? Well, that's fast. That's, yeah. That's the thing. There's uh, one time I did that. And like, in less than a minute or 30 seconds, I come again. Wow. So, the improvement na 10 seconds. So, okay. All so right. Jack off twice. <laughs> so, you no, get 20 seconds. Okay, here's seconds. the thing. We, we have a lot. We, we, we take this call a lot. Um... What's your name again? Keith in Zambonga. We, we, we take this call a lot with a with with premature ejaculation, and we, we try our best. We, we can't cure it, okay? That's your body. That's what, that's what it's going to be. It's going to do that, all right? Now, we, are, we do ways. We give you kind of options on how to prolong it a little bit, which is jack off before sex, which Arnel uh, has said. I say things like turn off the light, think about your dead Lola. Oh, I mean, you really wild. have to trick yourself into not doing it because you're going to do it anyway. Now, um, if you have sex with a condom, you can find condoms that have those uh, anesthesia, kind of topical anesthesia that it puts on your dick to numbing and uh, that numbs your penis. That usually works pretty well. You're going to buy yourself another two, three minutes with that. Sometimes you might even lose your erection because your dick will get super numb. Okay. But my thing is, how about this? Make sure they have an orgasm first. Make sure you go down on the girl and make sure she gets hers. Make sure you, when you're blowing this guy, he comes. And then you can do 20 seconds, you can do 5 seconds, you can do 30 seconds. It doesn't matter as much anymore because they were able to get theirs as well. And then you wait 15 minutes for your refractionary period and then you have sex again. But make sure that you do not go first because you know you have this problem. Okay. And then I get baka dapat ano baka dapat i- you withdraw when di ba kailan you know a few pumps it doesn't then, work yeah, di ba yeah. ako kasi that's what I do well no 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 it, 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 yeah, no, it, it works Arnel to an extent but sometimes when you're at that moment and you're like putangin I think I'm gonna come and you withdraw <laughs> Even that pulling out is feels good. Don't go to that. Don't go to that stage. You know, you, you do some switch you know, positions. Oh, oh, switch positions. Do uh, longer uh, foreplay. Yeah, but 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 but, Ar- but Arnel, how about this? Okay, say. Because I'm a tagal na oi. Yeah, you know, say, Arnel, this is gonna be funny. But say <laughs> say say I have his problem, right? And you're giving me a blowjob, Arnel. Uh-huh. In 20 seconds or less than because say he's coming uh-huh. in 20 seconds. If this I if I pull your mouth if I pull your mouth out in 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 10 seconds, I mean, wouldn't you be like, why are you pulling it out? Oh, I'm gonna change position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but but you know, I just need to. Ch- so every 10 seconds, tina tanggol yung ulo mo. Pero mahirap naman you know, I mean, kasi to to give a blowjob ng tuloy tuloy masakit sa panga. So ako I wouldn't give him straight blowjob ng ganon sa magkam sa kagad kasi parang tapos na mong kagad. Boring. I, I, I feel like... Okay, you can use the... Hmm. When you're getting a blowjob, obviously you don't have a condom on, right? I'm assuming, yeah. yes, Keith? So you can't use the numbing cream. And they have those creams also without a condom where you can put it on your penis and then use it if you're going to have sex without a condom. But the thing is, it might numb your partner as well. But the, oh, yeah. wait a minute. Uh-uh. Time out. Hold on one second. Remember the first girl who called who the anal sex thing? Can't you put that numbing thing in your butt? <laughs> Oh, there mga ano, uh, there mga lubricants with with the numbing thing. With it, pero hindi oh, masarap. See, so... <laughs> parang may namamagal. Well, I mean, if she wants, to, <laughs> if she wants to try, it. <laughs> you know. Okay, anyway, back to this guy. Uh, I think the best best case scenario for you is this: jack off before you have sex, right? If you're gonna have sex with a condom, use the numbing thing. And 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 this is the pivotal one. And I I mean I I I, I believe this strongly. You got to make sure they come first. Okay. Because if they come first, then they're gonna be less irate about you coming after 20 seconds. Okay. Okay. All right, okay. buddy. Rock on, Keith. Thank now, you. How many people? I mean, uh, you have a lot of people. You're, you're having sex with so many people down there in Zambia. I mean, he he went into several uh, occasions. So he he went to an orgy. So So he gets to smoke earlier. Yeah, 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> after 10, 15, after Even 10, 15 minutes. And it, I believe, are, are you super horny too? Maybe, I mean, maybe because mm-hmm. a lot of the times I feel like coming fast is so mental as well. I mean, it's not just a physiological oh. thing. I mean, are you extremely horny at the time and you're just so excited about being with this person? Yeah. And, and is, it, is it always a new person? Yeah. See, that's what it is. See, Arnold, maybe what I'm thinking is you're so excited because fresh blood, fresh meat, you know, you're coming too fast. If you step yeah, to one person. Sometimes, parang pagpasok pa lang ng room. Nilalabas ang kana? Hmm? Pagpasok pa lang ng room? Sa, hindi, pagpasok pa lang ng room, tapos <laughs> parang titigasan na kagad. Oh. You're yeah. an exciting yeah. person. You know. <laughs> <laughs> He's too Wala far for you, Arnold, at least in Zambonga. Yeah. Uh, if you uh, masturbate, this, ma- mabilis din ba if you masturbate? Uh, if I masturbate, depending if like I'm doing it alone, like sometimes strokes? fast, but like if I'm watching porn, like I try my best to like. Um, you know, I'm I'm okay. It, it's half half. It's mental and and body. I'm yeah. telling you, Keith, you have to stop having sex with new people all the time. Try to have one person that you're having sex with, and I think what I I'm assuming here, what you'll see is a, a, an extended. Um, you know, there'll be an extension in terms of the amount of time before you ejaculate. Mm-hmm. I have that. I, I think your mind is so excited. You're like, mm-hmm. all right, this is, you know, a new girl, new guy, whatever, you know. And, and you, you just get, it just gets all worked up in your head. How many, how many guys and how many girls? Like, what's the ratio? You know, more girls, more guys? More girls. I mean, I had two guys and like around six to seven girls. This week? <laughs> or you mean historically? And you're still mm-hmm. complaining, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Let's go to another uh, question just like this so we can kind of get rid of all of them. Jay-Z, you're 27 in Novaliches, line three. You've been on hold for an hour, and I don't know if you're still there. Um, you have the same problem, Jay-Z? Is that right? Hello? Jay-Z? Yeah, no, no. No? Lost Jay-Z? Okay, <laughs> never mind. Yeah. And let's talk to who's up right now. This is JJ, 28, Angeles City. JJ. Can you hear us? I hope he's still there too. Wait, is this JJ or is this Tick on on uh, on air now? Hi, Anyone? hi Mo, hi oh. Arnold. Hi, who's this? JJ. This is JJ. Hi yeah, JJ. JJ. JJ twenty eight Angeles. What's up? Yes, hi guys. I just need some advice. Uh, apparently. Whoa! Hey, what louder, happened? louder, closer. Oh, yeah, yeah, louder. Wow, our Skype is, sounds like hell tonight. Uh, get closer to the better? microphone if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Go ahead. Okay. Hi. Well, I have this problem. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a girl. I have a girlfriend. We've been like three years already. It's just that um, guys still keep on hitting on her. She's uh, hot. I, yeah, she is. Mm. Uh, I don't really mind that. It's just that lately, um, there are some girls that are trying to hit on her too. Kind of makes girls me are hitting on her too. Yeah. Oh. So the thing is. Um, she kind of likes it, so I'm kind of bothered with that. Or, you know, I don't know. Yeah. It's like she thinks it's cool. So. All right, well, we're gonna put you on hold. Yeah. Sounds like shit. Um, let's we'll talk to Arnell here. Arnell, uh, th- this I'm sure you've had this problem, right? Mm-hmm. Whether it be you or you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend that decided where they're very attractive, and even if everybody knows they're taken, people still mm-hmm. hit on her. This happens to me with every single girlfriend I have. Every single one, because mm-hmm. the, all my girlfriends are generally very attractive, yes. and they are in showbiz. Yes, they're in showbiz. So there's always a lot of showbiz guys, or a lot of businessmen, there are a lot of fucking everybody that constantly mm-hmm. hits on them. Uh, you, have you been in this situation? No, my, well, my 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 the bla- last partner I had. Oh, guapo yun eh. So daming nililigo na. But then, uh, how do you handle it? Yeah, you, you know what. Uh, for my security, uh, every, any any details about our relationship should we, we talk about it? We talk about it, and you, you don't scare with things that are are coming or you think are coming. So uh, I'm just prepared for anything. But then it helps a lot if you can talk about things that you well the u- usual couples don't talk about, like uh, ito yung girlfriend niya no may niligaw ding babae wow. Have you have you ever tried to ask her if that gives her pleasure? Sometimes it's, it extinguishes. I, you know, but but, but the, I think what gives her pleasure is the fact that she knows she's desirable. I mean, it's it's a nice feeling to know that you're liked by a lot of people, right? I mean, it's great for your self esteem. It's it, you know, it's great for 
you know, the work you put into yourself and dressing yourself up, putting on the makeup, your, you know, mm. your fashion sense. I mean, you, it's kind of, it kind of validates that you have taste. It validates that, you know, your hard work pays off and all of that stuff. So that's why I get why people would enjoy it. Shit, I would enjoy it if a ton of girls kind of liked me, even though I had a girlfriend, right? Uh, but, mm. sorry, go ahead. Yeah. If, if her, uh, if his girlfriend is still, craves for attention from suitors or uh, admirers then it must tell us something about how how much is how much attention he's giving to her girl to his girl so baka kulang kasi if, if you, your your girl is so satisfied with how well you're treating her baka hindi na siya be, you know yeah. well, it's, it's always a nice feeling to be admired hmm? jj how's the relationship is it it's it's going well yeah, it's, uh, everything is fine. You know? um, Sometimes you know, everything um, is fine. Is boring. Parents know. Pa- parents know me. Everything is you know. Mm. Basically, textbook. Textbook. Here's the thing, though, as well, Arnell. They're they're in the province, man. I mean, like you know, when you're when you're the popular girl in in the province, when you're the hottest girl of you're Miss Pampanga, then it's also it kind of jacks up that 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 feeling, right? I mean, because you know, I mean, when you're a city girl. And I know I, I pick on the province a lot, but when you're a city girl and you're hot, hey, listen, there are a lot of hot girls in this, but when you're, you're a province girl and you're the one that everybody wants, the guys, girls, everything, it, it's kind of like a great feeling as well. Um, but, you know, Arnell is right, J- JJ. If, if, if There's nothing to worry about if all the angles in the relationship are, 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 are well. I mean, if, if it's going well mm. in every aspect, then there's really nothing to, 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 that should bother you. You should talk to her. And say, hey, listen, maybe you shouldn't entertain all of these. Because say you have a boyfriend. Obviously, next time, there's a guy that's going to come over. Made the lang flowers, made the lang ano. Tapos mag-aaway na kami, magsusuntukan na kami. I mean, not that I have to protect my property, you know, quote unquote. But it's the boyfriend thing to do when guys are coming to your house or guys are flirting with you and texting with you. We're going to end up fighting. and I, I don't want to fight. Plus, it's more of respect for the relationship. If people That's know right. you're in, in a relationship, then they, you know. Uh, have you ever tried asking her about, you know, things like this? That you're, the, the things that worries you, things that worry you? Yeah, have you talked to her about it already? We, we talk about it. It's just that, hey, I'll give you an example. So there are like these petty fights that happen. And then all of a sudden, she changes her Facebook status, you know, and, you know, ah, harassment. Yeah, Ooh. you know what it is, dude. All of a sudden, yeah. But. Yeah, you know, she's going to be a headache. Uh, JJ, she's gonna be a headache. Uh, you, obviously, you want to stay in the relationship because she's super hot, and maybe if you guys are having sex, then fine, you're you're fucking a really hot girl. But it's gonna be a headache. If it's like that, na alam niya super hot niya, tapos mm-hmm. every fight siya. I'm gonna put single here. Tapos ang dami na lahi maglalapit sa akin, dami ba? I mean, it's not cheating yet, but it's a pain in the ass, and mm-hmm. she's a pain in the ass. So now you get it? Be single. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she put single right away. She's she's really uh, fast to put single because so, she wants all these people to know that she's available on the market so, again. So she's yeah. the first one who disrespects your relationship, right? Because see, if you put single there and you you're fully aware that you're into a relationship, he she's into a relationship with you, then mm. she's the very first one entering to a disrespectful uh, relationship with you. Yeah, she, no. listen, JJ, she's a pain in the ass. It, it depends on how much you want to tolerate. Yeah, she's hot, so you're going to tolerate a little bit more. But you're just, this is going to happen over and over. I, I have a feeling... Ugh. Mahal mo I ba, JJ? Baka naman di mo mahal. Baka gusto niyo lang pamparada. Same thing. I mean, like, we, we, we wouldn't be together for like three years. No, now. yes, you would. You would be together. How fucking little <laughs> Mada was like that, JJ? Of course you'd be together with her even if you didn't love her or she didn't love you. She's fucking gorgeous. Mm. And and how, how many hot girls like that can you find up there in your province? Well, no, not too many. So, I mean, uh, you, 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 you're, you're putting a hold on this girl. I, I get it. I understand. I would too. But Like a trophy. Time, she's, yeah. She's going to be a pain in the ass. If, you, if you're fine with that, then fine. So like, but that's where the, your worry is coming from. You're worried that you lose a girl that uh, some sort of like a trophy to you. That's right. Oh, for what? Yeah, you know, it has all... Listen, JJ, your, your, your connection is such shit that I don't, I don't want to go on with this call anymore. But yeah, that's, a very, that's another good point, Arno. Arno, you're great at this stuff. Um, you don't want to lose her at the same time because you probably have never scored a girl this hot. <laughs> but I'm telling you, she's going to get ugly one day. And she's going to be a pain in the ass forever. So, you know, oh. if I were you, I mean, 
okay, if you think about it in a trophy style, come on, you've already had sex with her. You've had sex with her maybe a hundred times. Think about those moments and move on to someone who's not going to drive you crazy. All right? Come on, buddy. Right, right, right. That's right. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thanks for the call, buddy. All right, we got to take a commercial break. Are you ready to get your game on? Chevrolet Philippines brings you the Chevrolet Sonic, a sporty and stylish subcompact car that has a 1.4 liter Ecotec engine with six speed automatic transmission that provides dependable speed, power, and fuel efficiency. The Chevrolet Sonic is also equipped with high tech features such as steering wheel mounted audio controls with USB auxiliary and blue. With uh, full audio streaming connectivity, the Sonic is available in hatchback and sedan variants. There to take on life's challenges head on and complement your A game with the all new Chevrolet Sonic. Visit your nearest Chevrolet dealership or log on to ChevroletSonic.com.ph to check out the all new 2013 Chevrolet Sonic. Game on. When we come back, last chance, we're just going to wrap up all these calls and then, of course, say our goodbye to uh, Arnel Ignacio. We've got a few more on hold, a few more online, and as soon as we knock those out, yeah, we'll find out who's going to be caller of the night. It is a Friday night on the podcast. It's brought to you by Globe, Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. See you guys in just a few minutes. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. There are text tech friends. Always on call friends. Not just Facebook friends. Bring them all together with Go Only 30 from Globe Prepaid. Go call, go text, go share. For only 30 pesos a day, don't just get a network of friends. Go get a globe of them. Go make it happen with Go Only 30. Go lang lang go. Hey, podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drugstores and supermarkets nationwide. What you've been missing on the factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but you know, I thought you it was. Made it up, <laughs> man. You made it I up. Mean, this time of year, right? Elections. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story, okay? <laughs> Children do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just so you know your rights, if you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you are not we're able to, to verify all of them. these, James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically. <laughs> Now, number two, upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and slow turn down. on cabin lights. Okay. Cabin lights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> lock all doors of vehicles during inspection. Since lock? Oh, lock. They might get uh, pissed off because nope. you're locking But that's doors. the thing. Okay. This is where they get you. And this is actually, I know we're making fun of it a little bit, but yeah. this is a serious issue. We've seen some people genuinely harass. Drugs and, are planted. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and other things, stories. you know. Um, mm. A Justin Bieber CD is planted, which is even worse. Oh, yes, no. I've heard of that, you know. And there's no defense for that. It's just there's Bieber really no defense. The, yeah, it's like, it's but Your Honor, we found this. I well, throw, throw the book at him. And the then CD as well. You, to, you know, then after that, you have to submit your cell phone and everything. Yeah. And ne next thing you know, you know, you have a Justin Bieber ringtone. <laughs> oh, Catch James Lord, Deacon and the boys on Counterflow Wednesdays, 7 30 to 8 30, only here. On the factory. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917 517 4287. Major Homes is here. Sabrina's Kitchen is going to be back in your kitchen. Sabrina, we're hungry. Okay. Every Saturday, 6.30 p.m., Lifestyle Network, where else? Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. 
it. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy Hotline. I'm Julia Snigowski. I'm Trisha Centenera. And we are the girls of 20. <laughs> okay, so you have to be wondering what on earth is 20. Exactly. So mm -hmm. find out every Sunday night, 8 <coughs> 9. Hang out with us. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about everything under the sun. Girls, boys, boys food, food. Okay, fuck, food. Of course you say Of course. Eventually, the phone number will come. But <laughs> since, in the meantime, we can't figure out the whole podcast thing, figure yeah. out, but we're trying to figure out boys, figure, figure, <laughs> figure out ourselves out, so we know what's going on. Exactly. Just okay. Anyway, our first podcast is this Sunday at eight. <clears throat> yeah. Please join us because we're, we're all, all here. here. My girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast here on this Friday night, Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season two, brought to you by Globe. You can follow our guest on Twitter at Arnel Ignacio. And uh, yes, he's here on the program. Telling me a wild story off air. Yes. You don't mind me sharing with it in a few minutes no, here? I mean, we have a call on the cell phone here, but after this, I want to talk about this because maybe the listeners might be able uh -huh. to tweet you or something and tell you what they think is going on. What a wild, wild story. Now, Arnell, off air, you were saying all of these stories that you tell us on, on the show, as, as crazy and almost unbelievable as they may seem, mm -hmm. are 100% true. Yeah, they're all true. They're all true. Uh, I'm not very good at making up stories. <laughs> no, and the details are so kind of like they're so specific that you can't you can't can't see, seem like they won't be able to be a lie anyway. But yeah, you you have come up with some with some really great stories. Uh, the, again, that police story, which I want to update with also a little bit later, is one of my favorites. I still tell that story on the radio all the time. There are a few stories I tell. Uh, on the radio, often. I tell the story of Ogie El Kassid, who, who we should get on the podcast and have him tell this story here. Ogie once saw, um, he was with Regine. Mm -hmm. They were at a, like a Best Buy. I'm not sure if you've been to the U.S. Best Buy is uh -huh. like an electronic store here. Um, they were something like at a Best Buy. Fries, I think, is actually what it was. And mm. they saw Elijah Wood. And, and, oh. and, and Ogie says, wow, look. It's Elijah Wood, you know, and then mm. Lord of the Rings just came out. You know, it's a big franchise, greatest, biggest movie of all time, whatever. And he mm -hmm. goes to Regine and said, Regine, man, Elijah Wood, you know, this is, the, this is so awesome. You know, he's saying these things. Mm. And then he goes, Papa oh. So he goes up to Elijah and says, hi, Elijah, you know, uh, my name is, you know, Ogi, da, 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 da. it's nice meeting you. I'm a big fan. And Elijah says, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, that's very nice of you. He goes, okay, thank you. Then he, Asha, then he went back. He said, wow, I just met him. And he's talking to his band and all of that stuff. They were there for a show. And then he mm -hmm. says, you know what? I'm going to get an autograph. He goes and gets the, uh, uh, a DVD because it's an electronic store. He gets a DVD uh -huh. and goes up to Elijah and says, Elijah, can you sign this DVD? I'm such a big fan. And he went to get a movie that Elijah was in. Nung nakita ni Elijah, you know what movie it was? Harry Potter. Putang mali. Alam niya si Harry Potter si Elijah and it wasn't Lord of the Rings. And he said, uh, I'll sign this, but I'm not in this movie. And Ogi was like, putang ina. Kanina pa ako I'm the biggest fan in the world. I love your movies. That was Harry Potter and Dinala. And I love that story. And when Ogi tells it, it's so much better. So the second story I tell the most is your story, which is you got held up by the police, right? I, well, you tell the story. I mean, and, and, and try to tell the story in like 30 seconds, like a fast uh, ejaculation. Yeah, yeah I, I, I just went to a gasoline station to have my car checked. They have Bluetooth alignment there. So I just went there and then... Here comes here comes a patrol car following me and then accused me of so many violations and they wanted to take my car and was and they were Porsche, asking yeah right? uh, oh, um yeah. they they were asking for 100,000 pesos and then I I mean I wouldn't be carrying 100,000 pesos and you know and yeah. so, so they one of them was so drunk 
rode with me and was giving all the comments about my car. Matagtag, why did I buy this? And ako naman, as stupid as, as I am. And I, I was explaining the GT3 to this guy who, who <laughs> it's so impossible for him to understand. Anyway, we went to uh, my place and stopped by the CCTV. Kulang na lang kumuway sila doon. And then, uh, napatawad ng 50,000 pesos. And then, two days after, I filed several cases. And they were expecting me to make a lot of mistakes um, para ma-dismiss. Uh, sorry to say. What I, idiots. I mean, I, what, I, mean, I, mean, I, I do my I, homework. I, I, I know the the update now is you guys are friends and all yes. that stuff. Again, again, if we have time later, we'll talk about it. it. It's become very funny, and it just shows how positive a person that you are. That these police officers kidnap you, take you to your house to oh, try no. to extort money, and and, and I guess even send me death gun point, Yeah, via gunpoint says give us money. They go to your house where your security camera sees the police car rolling to your <laughs> home and them coming out. And really kidnapping you into your yeah. own home so they can get money all caught on security camera. <laughs> that is the greatest story in police fuck up in the history of, of police. It's, it's awesome. Anyway, we'll, okay, we'll update that a little bit later. And speaking of the police, let's take call, uh, let's take line two here and talk to Sam. Sam, you're 27 years old. Your story has a little bit to do with the police as well. Oh. Welcome to the program. This is Arnel Ignacio. Hi, hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. What's up? Hi. Hi, Sa- hi, hi, Mo. Hi, hi, Arnel. Hi, Sam. I also, I also question. went to Notre Dame, Arnel. Oh! You're one of our heroes there. Wow! <laughs> what year? Heroes? Uh, I went there around the 1990s. Oh. I got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> for what? <laughs> for what did you get kicked out for? a little boy's ass. Oh. <laughs> well, that's normal in that school. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, they train us uh, to be gay. He wearing a Cub Scout. The, the kalabaw, mm. and then I uh, hinila ko siya hanggang mag-choke siya. <laughs> Why? Why did you do that? Bully? Ewan ko, napagtripan lang namin siya. Dati pa yun eh. <laughs> oh, anyway, well, you deserve to get okay, you. Okay, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Into your show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're here. I know you've been on hold for what? Almost two hours? Uh, that's okay. As long as I get to talk to Arnel, he's one of our heroes in Notre Dame. <laughs> All right. There you go, Arnel. The guy's been on hold for two hours for you. Thank All right. You. Anyway, Sam, your question. What's up? Oh, by the way, don't okay. forget, watch Full Monty, Sam. It's showing April 27th. It's only have 10 shows. You're going to love it. All right, go. I can't type the Bidang Lalaki, Mark Bautista. I'm going to go to the Bidang Lalaki. Don't do that. Don't do that. Arnel, is he? We won't talk about it. I wouldn't know. Hey. I wouldn't know. Hey, of course he's not going to tell. Of course he's not going to talk about that right now. That's his co-star. Maybe after the running of the musical, then we can ask him about it then. Sam, what's your question, you bully? All right, well, thank you. I love you too. I'm going to go. 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 I'm going <laughs> na, tapos na, na, nasa ko rin naman magka-girlfriend nung first year uh, college ako. Oh, nasuka ka. Kaya lang, talaga ngayon, gusto ko na mag, ano, maging open dito sa bahay. Gusto ko kasi ma-experience tumuli, kumembot, pumilantik ang kamay. Ah, doon ka pala sa, sa bahay. extremes ka pala. Kasi this one time, dinatuan ako ng ipis dito sa bahay. Pigla na pigil ko yung pagtili ko. Tumakbuba ako <laughs> sa kwarto, tapos kumuha ko ng unan, doon ako nagtitili. <laughs> ganyan ka ba magsalita sa bahay? I mean, yan, yung ganyan may yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Wait, wait, I wanna, I wanna know what you sound like at home. Sige nga, sample. Sam, yeah. Hi, Dad. Uh, Ganun din eh. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Parang banu lang yun. Baka naman alam na ng tatay mo. <laughs> That's right, I'm pretty sure. Kasi, ano, nag-gym ako, medyo maganda naman yung katawan ko. Mm. Natutuwa pa nga yung daddy ko kasi health buff ako. Mm. So, yun. Ah, okay. Eh, gusto ko na rin talagang mag- Pero at least nagagamit ko yung pagka-health buff ko pag nag-hook up ako sa gym. Ganun. Tutuwa naman right. sila kasi That's maganda right. talaga yung katawan ko. Uh, eh, pero ba't kailangan right. pang sabihin sa papa mo? Eh, siyempre kasi, yun, yun nga, gusto ko pag nasa bahay ako, komportable ako. Eh, yeah, di maganyan ka na lang. Paano, nung wala na lang confirmation. Na, hey, Sam, Sam, hold on. Here's my first question. You're 27 years old. Why do you still live at home? We could get out. You have a job? Oo nga. Muna sa Pilipinas tayo. Hindi naman ako mayaman. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mahirap na bakla. Hindi mo na ako Mayaman ka kasi. Bruha ka. <laughs> Alam mo, I'm amazed at how you can control <laughs> and change. Yeah, but I mean, because how how many hours do you spend that? I'm sure you may, you might even go home late. Para lang, you, you, it's uncomfortable to be in your own home and, and have to be as completely different I understand, like, halimbawa, when you're around, like, on the radio, hindi pwede ko magmura, di ba? So, I understand. It's three hours, no fuck, no shit, mm. no tang ina. Na, the rest of the day, pwede. Or, uh, na, na, hindi din ko, when I go to church or something, hindi pwede ko magtang ina, mm. bullshit, or whatever, because you're in church. <laughs> but to spend your entire, every single day at home, I know, 10, 12, 14 hours at home, and you have to be a guy when you're not really, like, a masculine it's man? Home, I, it's, whenever be, I'm at home, I always try to have lakad para makakapaglaga ang beauty ng lola mo. Pero parang dito sa bayo niya, napakahirap. Alam mo, okay, why don't you tell your dad? Okay, we haven't gotten to the point though, uh, Sam. Kung bakit hindi mo kaya sabihin. Police officer, baka mamaya. Maraming bakla na po. Sabi ng beauty ko sa, sa timbaan nun, no? But does your dad ever, uh, is he homophobic? Is he, uh, uh, what's this, discriminatory? Does he hate gay people? And uh, kumukuha ito, putang yun ang bakla na yan. I mean, does he th- say things like that? I'm, Pag nanonood ako ng TV, alam mo, yung pinagtatawa na niya yung mga artistang mukhang bakla. Like, ayan, ito putang yung ampiolo. Ito bakla yan. Ganun. Hindi galit sa bakla yun. Hindi galit. Alam mo, dami, eh, ano, ang daming ano. Yan, siyempre, ayoko nang mga disappoint sila sa akin. Kasi no, ka, you won't be disappointed. Kasi kakausapin nila ako, kailan ba, kami mag, kailan ba sila mag sa akin, ganun. Alam na nun. Alam na nun. Yeah, you know, listen, Sam, your, 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 your dad is a police officer, meaning... For a job, he does investigative work. Okay, that that's his job. Investigate. Yeah, right? Yung, that's what police do. But kaya mas papino problema mo pang sabiin. Eh, pero for whatever it's worth, ha. Alam mo Sam, ang daming mga matataas na um, rango generals. Da, meron sila mga anak na bading. And oh, wala. Hindi na sa hindi na siya ganong ka um, tabu sa. Scandalous. Oh, hindi yeah. na, hindi na. So uh, bak unfounded din yung worries mo. Oh, kasi most of the time, you, okay, wait, th- does your dad beat you up? I mean, is he, is he a violent man at home? Actually, hindi naman kasi nga nagbabanding kami. Minsan nga pinagmukha ni Coco, dumidumi sa kamay, nakakaasar. May mga banding <laughs> times naman kami, pero yun nga, natatakot ako. Pag yun na, yung nagagalit siya sa akin minsan, ayoko, ni-imagine ko pa, ano pag sinabi ko pa na bakala ako, baka anong magawa niya sa akin. Hmm. Tapos yung mother ko pa, conservative. Mama. I think though, if you have spent time with your dad bonding, open the man mm. you know, sitting down, having a conversation with you, finding out about your life and what the real Sam is. I think, I think you might. I think Noah's. Uh, sorry, I think Arno might be right that your your concerns might be a little unfounded. Uh, it, I know it's difficult to come out. I, I'm sure it is, right? It's, uh, it's it's rare to find a family that's going to be completely okay with it right away. You know, I know that being a from, from the Philippines, no, but. You have to do it. And in 27. I mean, I don't know, Arnold, does he, wait, hold on, let me rephrase. Arnold, does he have to do it? Does he have to come out? Uh, I, don't, I don't find a necessity. Because you, you can be free without really confirming it. Diba? You don't have to, hey, dad, sit down, I'm, I'm gay. Because um, usually, ano eh, um, magsusolicit pa yun ng reactions na you may not want. Pero dahan-dahan, eventually they'll accept it. So, ano, hintayin ko na lang ma-deadball si papa? Hindi naman. Alam mo, I, 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 alam mo, pakiramdam ko lang, your, your father is a cool guy. Kasi nanonood-nood pa ng TV na gives out opinions like that about people in show business. So, uh, open na siya sa ganun. And, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, hindi naman, I, I don't think you have uh, you have to worry as much as you think that you should. You. That, that's a good that's a good point. Sorry, go ahead, Sam. Hindi kasi kwento ko lang isang beses talaga muntik na talaga ako mahuli na nunut ako ng search chief nung nagkisila ni Maya talaga yung kilig na kilig ako pero pigil na pigil talaga ako. Tsaka alam mo madalas akala lang natin hindi tayo buko eh. Hindi oh. sinabi ko na lang ganda that- ganda ako eh Jody. <laughs> that Sir Chief thing, by the way, was huge, wasn't it? Was it like last week or something? Or... Hi, Sam. You're going to be fine. You know what? I think, I think Arnell brought up some great points that um, if, you, uh, if your dad already is giving opinion about Shoba's personality and stuff, meaning, meaning in the know, na siya, medyo updated naman siya, I think he's going to be okay with this. Now, if you still feel scared and uncomfortable about it and you want to wait a little while, then fine. But I'm sure it'd be, your dad would appreciate it more if you told him un- unle- 
uh, uh, instead of him huhuliin ka, di ba? And again, your dad has, in, that's what he does for a job, investigative work. I, I'm pretty sure by now, sa 27 oh. years na existence mo, na nalaman naman niya na, na medyo baklaka. Ka Kasi wala ka naman girlfriend, you know, mm. all of these other things. All yeah. right? Ay, at saka, dagdag ko lang, dagdag ko. you know what? Most parents are worried uh, actually kung how you will live your life, lalo na trabaho. If you're, uh, if you're you know, you're doing well sa work and you don't have to depend on them, hindi ka masyado matatakot. Oh, kasi yun ang worries nila. And then, t- tell your dad, uh, I will try my best to give you a grandson, granddaughter. And okay na yun. Pag okay, yeah, you're respectable. Pag nalo na siya. Hindi naman. Kung ano, bakit doon ka agad? <laughs> Ay, Danny. Bating nga pala ako. Shook pa tayo. That's it. Now, he's fine. You're gonna be fine, Sam. Thanks for the call. We appreciate it. And uh, yeah, you've been a lot of fun. Arnel, Have a good night. Request. Can you sing the Notre Dame hymn for me? <laughs> The lower you want to sing it with me together, you can remember. No, no, we have no more time. We're over time. He knows it. Thanks for the call. Have a good one. Bye bye. Uh, let's go to Anthony, who is on line one. Anthony, you're 28. You have a question for Arnel Ignacio. Anthony, what's up? Hi, how are you? Hi, good evening. Uh, napagusa pa lang kanina sa chat room out of the blue lang. Kung naka experience na si Arnel ng gangbang. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. Nice. Oh, dati pa. No. Now, gangbang meaning one person... Because, okay, what's the difference between gangbang and orgy? Orgy is lahat kayo having sex with each other, right? I mean, swinging, things like that. Gangbang is what? One person banging several people? Parang ganun? Gangbang is what? One person banging... Is that what it is? Hello? Anthony? Yeah. I think he's major delay. Yeah. What's a mm. gangbang? The difference between gangbang and orgy? Sorry. In bang, gangbang, dami-dami talaga nun. No, 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 okay, hold on. He's he's on delay. Let's not, let's just talk uh, amongst mm-hmm. ourselves. Um, is a gang? I think isn't isn't it a gangbang like one person fucking like seven other people like in a line, mm-hmm. and then the orgy is like seven people having sex with each other. You're jumping from one partner to uh, the other. Right? But, so, but, I mean, have you have you had any of these? In in uh, I I was invited to some party. I thought it was an ordinary party. Yung pala ganun sa gym. So dami. Dami. It was exciting. So how many people did you have sex with at that moment? Uh, about there were eight of us. Eight of us. May, may girls. May girls. Kind of one of wow. them looked like my wife, so para na walang ako ng you know para mo yun tataksila ko para ayoko hindi ko tinuloy. You know that's that's on my bucket list, man. I've always wanted to do that, like get in some sort of like crazy orgy. But I would feel weird like. Seeing another guy and then kind of comparing penis size and then comparing <laughs> boob sizes of the girls and comparing their smell, like you know, you smell different from that, you know. But I, I would, I, all of these little details would drive me crazy that I wouldn't enjoy. It. But it was, uh, you know, why I have so many stories because each time, you know, there's a, there's a slightest chance or invitation for me to do something I've never done before. I just jumped into it. The first time I, I what heard a great of, way to live. you know, I heard of uh, the bad house, I was there yeah. for 4 p.m. Four in the afternoon, carrying my ID from UP. <laughs> I was alone, <laughs> memorizing the maze. <laughs> and <laughs> I was there for 12 hours. And the next day, I went there again. Then, mm, got tired of it. So, kaya marami kong kwento eh. Kasi, I worry That's a after. good way to live though. I mean, oh. it's, it's a little reckless. Yeah, it Maybe is. Maybe slightly irresponsible. But Mm-mm. at least you can't say that you didn't have fun. Mm. Right? That's why I have so many I mean, stories to tell. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a great uh, conversation piece. You mm. always have material for a good conversation. Mm. All right, Anthony. Thanks for the call. Yes, he has. At a uh, gym. Chat room, sabi nila. Hi, chat room. Hi, chat room. Can you say hi to the people in the chat room? Hi, chat, hi, chat, chat room. room and all the people there. <laughs> ano chat room? Thank you. All right. Thanks, Anthony. Appreciate it, man. Bye-bye. Let's go to Yanni. Yanni, you are 23. You are from Makati. You're on a cell phone. Hi, Yanni. How are you? I'm good. I'm kind of sleepy right now. Sleepy. I'm sorry we kept you at you. I think sleepy. She's been on hold for also about two hours, I think. So thank you, Yanni, for, for being patient with us. I'm sorry that we didn't get to you. Uh, what's your question? Oh, my question for the guy is that they yep. do is that if they do love girls who moon clouds during their intimate moments. Do guys like women who are loud when you're having sex? You know, um, yeah. it's different. Obviously, it's relative to each guy. I don't like a girl who's extremely loud. It, it, it makes me think, are you fucking faking it? Or 
Or like, depends on the letter that she uses. Like, okay, no, ah, right, right. That's true. <laughs> like, what kind of animal noise is? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> now, at the same time, I, I, I mean, I, you don't want a person completely quiet as well. A nice, oh, you know. Nice. Uh, you know, a good a good amount of grunting and ooing and aoing is good. Not that Japanese porn Oo. kind of style. Na talagang busa. Oh, mukhang parang yeah, pinapatay or parang hindi sila nag enjoy <laughs> and, and then, wag naman yung sobrang OA as well. You know, I mean, again, it, as with everything, moderately is fine. Any extreme of this or extreme of that is kind of uncalled for. Are you a loud person when you're having sex? No, not, not really. <laughs> So, so I mean, like, what do you? So what do you mean, decibel? Guy, <laughs> I'm sorry. What? What, Yanni? What? It is more awkward if a guy is louder than a girl, right? The, oh yeah, yeah, man. If a guy's <laughs> that, I'm um, yeah. That ogre. seems like yeah. You, you don't want that, Yanni. Pero masarap yung may ano eh. Mas masarap yung mayroong nagbumura na konte. Ina mo masarap mo. Oh, ganun. Sarap mo. Tagal ko nang gusto gawin to. Ayip ka. Takay mo. <laughs> Sarap nung ganun. <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> Kesa yung para I lang. I said that, but fine. Oh, pero masarap. Masarap talaga ako. Pag, masarap tagal ko. Ina mo. Masarap. Putok mo sa loob. <laughs> ganun. <laughs> ano ba ito? Ayan. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for the call, Yaddy. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye bye. And then one more call related to that. Let's go to Dino here. Twenty-seven years old, Kalaokan, uh, dinosaur person. Hello, Hello Dino. Sir. <laughs> Hi, sir. How are you? A little louder again. Our, our Skype seems to be a little bit uh, distant today, but you're the last call of the night. What's uh, What's your question? Uh, uh, sir, uh, uh, sir, uh, sir, uh, sir, uh, sir, Yung girl, uh, yung orgasm ng girl. Okay. Um, well, sumisikip yun pag uh, nag-orgasm talaga. Not really, diba? but you know what? No, uh, we'll put you on hold here because of the background music. Thanks, thanks for the question. Um, huh. Okay, I-, I think that if a girl is too fast to orgasm, like sometimes, you know, like I- I'll have sex with a girl and like maybe mga 30 seconds or 45 seconds into it, she's like, I'm coming. I'm like, okay, you're lying is what you're doing. <laughs> Obviously, that's not true because you understand that when you, to get generally, again, generally speaking, for a girl to have an orgasm, you need to get a good rhythm going, yes. a sustained rhythm mm-hmm. of, uh, say, if you're going down on her. Not a lot of girls have orgasms with intercourse itself. So, if all the girls that you're having sex with is having an orgasming or, or, or orgasming like one minute into the intercourse itself, wala nang foreplay going that she's probably lying. Um, I think a girl that's really obviously is too loud, you know, like all a acting is is lying. Um, generally, a female when she's having an orgasm, she won't let you touch her clitoris because it's very sensitive. Uh, so if you kind of kind of play with it, she'll she'll kind of push you away because she's trying to enjoy the orgasm. That's when you know she's having a real one. I mean, there are little kind of clues that you can go by. Um, I think there's like there's a list of things like online that you can check. I I completely forgot what's on that list. But, but, but mom, there, there's sorry, a, there's a very there's a very unique peculiar expression in their faces. That's meron right. Eh, meron, meron, uh, you know, but, but, but they, right. they turn into something else. Plus, uh, well, there's a twitch. There's a mm, weird kind of shake, almost yeah, like they, a seizure. You, like. you won't recognize. You won't recognize. Your regular fare with her. I mean, during the day, you know, having lunch. Iba talaga yung ano? Iba talaga yung magiging mukha na. Plus, uh, di ba sumisikip? Di ba parang mer? Di ba pagano? No, I, I think there are like what's the what's the term here? The medical term. Um, shit, I forgot. But uh, yeah, like uh. Like not a contraction. I, I know what you're talking about. I, I don't think so. I think what it is. So maybe keep you more thighs nila. Like you'll see their body kind of be a little bit rigid because, like like with a guy when they have an orgasm, you see your toes. Sometimes you'll get a cramp in your toes mm-hmm. because you know you, you have that rigidness there. Um, again, I think it's. I think you'll tell. You can tell if a girl's having an, uh, a fake orgasm is how it got to that orgasm is basically what I'm gonna look for. It's like. It couldn't look be for the quick, clues. right? Iba? Yeah, it couldn't can't be, be quick. It can't be right away. You know, I mean, again, generally speaking, can't be just right away. Mm-hmm. She'll just jump on you and all of a sudden she's going to say, I'm coming, I'm coming, oh, I'm coming. No, no. I, I don't think it's true. And then if she continues to have sex with you after she's coming normally and you can kind of still touch her clitoris and all that stuff, I don't think it's real. Uh, generally, I've seen uh, when the girlfriend or something would have an orgasm, you kind of have to like leave them alone a little bit for them to enjoy it and not touch them because they, they're very ticklish and sensitive and stuff like that. Parang pusa. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I mean, those are little clues and stuff like that. Again, and Arnel said it right. There's a distinct look and behavior that you don't see anywhere else when it happens. And I think that's the same with guys. All right. Well, thanks for all these calls. Uh, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to find out who the caller of the night is. Before, though, we do that, have you ever dreamt of spontaneously jetting off to some amazing country only to realize you don't have the money to fund your airline tickets? Well, here's some great news for you, or at least for you guys who are thinking of subscribing to a postpaid line. Allied Bank credit card holders who subscribe to any Globe Platinum plan from February 1st to May 1st will get Mabuhay Miles, enough to earn them round-trip tickets to Asia, Australia, or the United States absolutely free. You can fly from Bali to Melbourne to Los Angeles and all thanks to your Globe Platinum plan. You can even get a Sony Xperia Arc to stay in touch with your friends back home. Find out more about this promo on globe.com.ph slash platinum slash unparalleled services as well as many other perks you can get. So check out this because this is awesome. Free flights, always the best thing. Taking a break, when we come back, we will say our goodbyes to Arnell. Arnell, try to think about who you thought your favorite caller of the night is. And hopefully we can give you a new iPhone, maybe a BlackBerry. We'll see. Taking a break. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. text text friends always on call friends not just facebook friends bring them all together with go only 30 from globe prepaid go call go text go share for only 30 pesos a day don't just get a network of friends go get a globe of them go make it happen with go only 30 go lang lang go Hey, podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drugstores and supermarkets nationwide. What you've been missing on the factory. Now we're going to show you guys the new beta that just came out yesterday. It's God of War Ascension, the private beta. For and PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus. Let's watch it, right? It's nice and we can play already. Yes. Yep. There you go. And perfect timing. <laughs> perfect timing. Well, before that, I was... I was kicking ass. <laughs> so go with the theme of the show, How Not to how Play. It's Robot Rice and Friends with Alfonso Martinez, Mickey Han, and Nigel Zalameo. Fridays, 6 to 7 p.m., only here on The Factory. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. What you've been missing on the factory. Then the maid got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not <laughs> tears up. Tears up. Anyway, John this does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so John this. And I'm now happy to present to you Carlo Tayo. Look at this tayo. Tayo. So many snacks. Ano ba to? Ganyan ba yan? Tapos, ang puti. Ay, tapos, dito ba pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Concealer. <laughs> Ayan, para sa show mo, ha? O. Oh. Aray ko, ang mayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Zora, pang ano ba to Oil absorbing? Pwede pa itong pang nose line? <laughs> Tito oh. Kay, may caution. Ah, when, caution! When caution! Basta ah! <laughs> ng glamour te! Oh. When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. <laughs> Purahin na, purahin na siya. Oh my God! Damn! Sorry, ma. Pabasa ka ang gawa! Ito talaga? Pwede bago yan. Don't worry. Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi naman nagkakap niyo. 
But dapat pala caution mo na yung pinaka <laughs> Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulls every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. Sabrina's Kitchen is going to be back in your kitchen. Sabrina, we're hungry! Okay, it's coming! Every Saturday, 6.30 p.m., Lifestyle Network, where else? Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Good times from all the podcast season two brought to you by Globe. Welcome back. Time for our caller of the night and of course our uh, goodbyes to Arnel Ignacio. Before that, though, quick announcement on behalf of uh, Beyond the Box. Share the Beyond the Box love, share tweet, great finds at Beyond the Box PH. Love their collection of Apple products and accessories on Twitter and Facebook. Get 5% off all regular Apple priced products, including a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, iPod, iPad, Apple Care, and other non Apple accessories. Share on both to get 10% off. Look out for the poster at all Beyond the Box outlets to avail of the promo. Arnel Ignacio, our guest tonight. You can follow him on Twitter again at Arnel Ignacio. And yeah, go check him out when his uh, musical comes out. Of course, it's called The Full Monty. Now, uh, Arnell, before we do Caller of the Night, you had a wild dream, or you've had a wild series of dreams yeah. uh, recently. And generally, I don't care for dreams very much. I'm not a supernatural guy. I don't really read into these kind of things. But yours is so unique that I'd like you to share the story. And then maybe people listening to the podcast yeah. can tweet you and think what they thought about it. Because it is very, very weird. And I'm sure you're going to get messages as the days go by because this show will be downloaded on iTunes. But share the story with us real quick. And then let's let's take it to the listeners. Maybe someone has an explanation yeah, on why this up, is. Yeah, yeah go no, ahead. I, I dream of being with a good-looking guy. We were uh, in another country. I, 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 I think we're into something. You know? So, masarap, masaya. So, he... Mm, we went to we, we even went to church and then he asked me to fix nice. the choir uh, now you now, sorry, you dreamt about this over uh, consecutive days right yeah, this is not three, just one dream three consecutive three days. No. now yung, yung, ano, this is the final dream I, uh, naalala ko lang siya those are previous dreams and then before the dream ended um, I asked him I, I've, I've been seeing you uh, several times three times you never gave me your name then he he gave me a sheet of paper a page of a script he said, this is my name. Written there is Indus, I-N-D-H-O-U-S. And after that page is a page of the map of Turkey. And then I woke up. Woke up 
fantastic mood. Nag-tweet pa nga ako eh. Had a, well, the best dream in my life. And then, wala lang. Sabi ko, i-google ko nga yung Indus. And, doon sa images, I saw a group picture. Siya, he was there. He's there. Siya yung kausap ko. Siya yung kausap ko. Uh, That's wild. Uh, yung, huling, uh, yung huling image ko sa kanya, he was wearing a uh, black turtleneck, bushy eyebrows, and payat. Payat na... Same exact guy same, in the dream. Same. Uh, except for the turtleneck. But he was wearing black. And then, yeah. um, he's from Turkey. He was born in Albania. And then, that was, uh, he's doing, uh, he's a small-time actor in Turkey. And he doesn't speak English. Not too well. Not too well. Uh, his name is Nick Selly Lodge. And ako, tulala so, na ako kung ilang araw Did you check him at Twitter? Hmm? Yeah. Maybe you can tweet him. I've been oh, dreaming pero, about pero, you. Weird. But the, la- the last entry na, na nag-tweet siya was ano pa, December 27, about two years ago. Yung Facebook but did you I send him a message? message? I sent him a message and, to- and told him about my dream. And so far, I have no reply. But then it's driving me crazy because how on earth well, will somebody give me a link through my dreams and then check it out? In, how this is possible? I don't know. Yeah, how- that's very weird. And, and I don't know, maybe someone has... This is a great topic for the radio, by the way. Maybe I'll share it on Monday as well. But So you dreamt of a guy three days in a row. Mm-hmm. And you had the greatest time. You, yes. Whatever, romantic, Slow. enjoying things, whatever. John, and then sexual, you ask him for his it's name. Not, it's not sexual. Right, right. It's a connection, though. Yeah. So up, you ask him for his name. He gives you the name on a piece of paper on the map of Turkey you wake up you google it you don't find any returns on the google you click on images and boom his face is there Jesus mm. love mm. it and this is not bullshit you're not high on drugs mm. or anything no. when this happened <laughs> I just woke up that time <laughs> <laughs> what a Damn, wild yeah. wild story alright so if you have an explanation do tweet uh, Arnel Ignacio about it hey, do, do me a favor maybe on Monday on the radio show, I don't know, I, I, you don't seem the type of guy who wakes up early, but maybe I can phone patch you on Monday, mm-hmm. tell the story, and then I want to talk about dreams a little bit, yes? Yeah. Maybe Monday or Tuesday. Let me give you a try. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send you some messages on, on uh, Twitter. I'll DM you. We can work mm-hmm. out a, a schedule. Maybe you can wake up just for a phone patch, just so you don't have to get up and come to the studio. But um, that, that's a very interesting story. All right, mm-hmm. well, thanks for that. Let's get to a uh, caller of the night. Uh, this is the person that you liked most, um, Arnell. And which person was was that for you? The girl who uh, was asking uh, who was asking us if if it's okay if he does an anal sex with his boy with her boyfriend. Right, Kay. Mm-hmm. She's that, that, she sounded so genuine. Okay, let's go. Let's get to uh, KK. Uh, you're 25. You're caller of the night. You can win yourself a brand new phone here tonight, uh, courtesy, of course, of uh, Globe. And uh, Arnell here picked you out. Uh, Kay, you there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, now, Arnell, you've had anal sex with a girl before, but you you told me you had a dent double penetration with a girl before. Like, there's one guy with his penis in, in the vagina while you were in her anus sabai, yeah. both oh. holes at the same time. Mm-hmm. Wow. What? A, and and what's that like? Oh, unforgettable, unforgettable. <laughs> but, but it's hard to get a partner to do that with you. Oh, so malamang. Ang hirap nung ano yung convincing process. Wait, this is you can imagine how what I what I did. <laughs> so para mo. How do you convince a girl? Slowly. By the way, that's a great question. How do you convince a girl that you're gonna stick your dick in her ass while another guy sticks his dick in her pussy, and you guys are gonna do it at the same time? A lot of investment in time. It doesn't happen in a day. It happens in you know a month of talking. Chaga ako sa ganon. Chaga. Then let her imagine wow. it first, and then finally, when she's comfortable with it, why don't we you know give it a try in reality? And then it happens. And what what, what did she look like? I mean, does she just make she was enjoying it? <laughs> ah, oh, 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 because she had that look on her face. You know, the the unique unique expression. The unique expression of there's a dick in my ass and a dick in my pussy oh, at the same mm. time well, expression. I, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Parang ano, no, All right, I, I sound like I'm making up stories, but no, no. no. Kahit nga ako pag pinakiling ako, oh my God. Oh nga, gawa ko yun. <laughs> <laughs> younger days, younger days. <laughs> All right. Um, Kay, congratulations. Your caller of the night. All you have to do is pick between uh, box number one, two, or three, and um, we'll see if you win a brand new phone. But dude, there are a lot of other cool prizes you can get as well tonight. So what do you want? One, two, or three? Two. Two. 
Arnell, if you don't mind, can you open box uh-huh. number two and let's find okay. out what's inside ah, box two. On. Okay, let's see. You get a globe tattoo stick. Did I say that? Another oh. globe tattoo. Boy, we've been giving away a ton of these. People are not winning the phones. What's, can you do me a favor, Arnell? Can you open one and three? Let yeah. me know where that phone is because... I mean, in the first couple of weeks of the show, people were winning phones left and right. Now oh. we're kind of a little bit of a dry spell. A couple of days since somebody's won a phone. Yeah. And they're, it, they're there every night. So, so number three? Number three is a BlackBerry Curve from Globe. Oh, shit. All right. Well, hey, thanks for the call, though. We appreciate it. And, um, yeah, good luck with the anal sex thing there, all right? <laughs> Okay, thank you. you. All right, baby. Have a good day. <laughs> Arnell Ignacio, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Uh, Full Monty, April 27. Do check it out. I know it's still quite some time from now, but we'll definitely – I'll tweet it for you. We'll plug it here, and uh, I, I'm sure it's going to be a huge hit. Unfortunately, only 10 shows, but mm. I guess that's how they do the, mm. these things. Um, uh, you follow him on Twitter again as well, and yeah, well, well, hopefully we can have you back. Yeah, yeah. Maybe after the run of the uh, musical, yes? <laughs> yeah. I'm Anything else you want to add before we – I'm just yeah, anything else you want to add before we uh, say goodbye? Um, well, I, I hope people uh, pick up a lot of uh, lessons from tonight's <laughs> exciting <laughs> conversations. Uh, you know, I, I was doing all these in my life when I was younger. I wouldn't want to be excited about things that I did at, at this age. It would look sure. weird, funny, and strange, and weird. So I, I did all that to fill myself up with experiences. And I'm okay No regrets? Now. No regrets. Love it. Mm-hmm. That's a great attitude to have, man. I wish I had your. I wish I had your outlook in life, where I can be held up by the police and then brought to my home and DP'd and, and and all of these things, and still just kind of be always just so positive and and. Imagine. I mean, really, it's it's charming. Right, you guys are friends now and stuff yes. like that. I hear. I mean, that is that's crazy. The, the judge gave us a funny comment. Like it, Sabi nung judge sa court, oh, magkakatabi na kayo. <laughs> <laughs> we've, been, we've been seeing each other in court several times. Almost uh, 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 twice a month. So, wala na. It's inevitable. We'll, we'll turn out. Now, but now these, these police officers obviously have lost their jobs mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But, but now you're helping them out? I mean, you give them money? Oh, you... no, 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 nothing like that. Plus, <laughs> oh, okay. uh, right. you know, all the tension, oh, wala na. And uh, lessons were learned. And, uh, well... Uh, That's think, awesome. Good things will turn out out of this. It's fun to be Arnell's friend, everyone. So if if you befriend him, consider yourself lucky. He's a very very good guy, and again, great mind, great laughter, great spirit, all that shit. It's all it's all in one package, man. Thanks for being here. We'll Thank see you. you again. Have a good night, everyone. Have a great weekend, uh, Arnell, and all of our listeners, all the people who called, all the people in the chat room, all the staff members, all the people that download. We appreciate you guys very much. Have a great great evening. We'll see you on Monday. Have a good one. Bye bye. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gumata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media Inc. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. <laughs> you can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.